How's everyone? Hello. I'm very, very late, as you can tell. Honestly, I should have streamed this yesterday, but I was busy editing. I've been editing all week. And I was also busy with TwitchCon and spending time with my girl. So I apologize for being late on this. Still plenty of time. A little bit of time. I've heard that this event isn't that hard to to uh to get through. Also to be quiet. I'm kind of being quiet right now because, um, Celeste is sleeping. Celeste is EP right now. She's recovering from COVID, so. I sound so sleepy. I'm not really sleepy. I'm just trying to be quiet. <clears throat> Boo. Da, 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 da. Boo, boo. Anyways, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. I know it's been a while since you've seen me around because I've literally not posted anything on YouTube. I haven't streamed since like the beginning of TwitchCon. And I haven't posted on Twitter either. Actually, no, I did post myself at TwitchCon, but... Heard, heard a bunch of people got COVID from TwitchCon. Yeah, I think a bunch of people, someone, I think COVID was a little bit of, um, or TwitchCon was a little bit of a COVID super spreader event, not gonna lie. I mean, not everyone got COVID though. Like, I know the bozos didn't get, didn't all get COVID. <clears throat> Celeste did get COVID though. I technically did. I mean, I didn't get it too bad, and I only found out that I did get it, like, yesterday. So, it's like... Like, I I mean, I don't even... I didn't even know that, like, I had it. It didn't feel... It didn't feel, like, any different from, like, a regular... Like, a very slight cold, honestly. But... I don't know. She was weak sauce, not gonna lie. But we move, we move. I'm not gonna, not gonna complain too much before COVID comes back around and kicks my ass. So, I like to keep my tastes. All right, <clears throat> hit some people harder. Yeah, every time, it, every time Celeste gets it, she gets hit hard with it. So, all right. But anyways, should we do this? We shall do this event. I'm probably just gonna speed run this and then end the stream because I don't have anything else to play and I also need to edit. Um, yeah, just gonna probably speed run this event, It'll be a very, very short stream. I've heard that some people can complete it in like an hour or less, which is crazy, but for me, it usually takes me longer to complete events. Any plans for Halloween? No. I mean, not yet, because we still have to wait and see if we test negative for COVID, because... Yeah. 
don't want to end up going out on co don't want to end up going out on Halloween and getting people sick. So Ugh, that's so loud. <clears throat> Let me go and do this event very quickly. By the way, have they announced um when the next when the update live stream is gonna come? Cause I know they postponed it. I know they postponed it for um for reasons. I'm pretty sure someone died. Someone very important died in China. So very luckily November third. That's actually a long ass time. What the fuck? What the hell? This Friday? it all the way back there. That's crazy. <clears throat> I'll see if I can make it November 3rd. I mean, I probably won't like wake up that early to stream it on November 3rd, but I'm still probably... I'll, I'll still try to like watch it afterwards. We were just talking about you. This is more serendipitous than finding Mora after face planting on the road. Face planting on the road? Okay. Uh, hello, you two. What are the odds? It's been too long. I'll bet you have some thrilling new tales from your journey to fill me in on. I can see it in your eyes. I like that they're both friends after that. Uh, after that one event <laughs> with each other, that one did. They had one dinner with each other, and now they're like f best friends. That's that's funny. Uh, never a dull moment on this Tevat trip. Excellent. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. What were you talking about before we got here? Something fun or oh, something delicious? <laughs> we were talking about one certain traveler and how two's company but three's a crowd as the inseparable duo tore around to that, making four friends here and five more there, often at sixes and sevens as they brave the lakes and seas, collecting pieces of eight and countless other treasures. <laughs> they clearly must have nine lives. Wink, wink. Let's hope they have less than 10 deaths. Holy essay. What the? It just gets worse and worse. Shortly, you may attend a grand banquet at Stone Gate. All will be dressed to the nines for majestic food and fine wines. And after eight long drinks and seven shorts, they'll each write six lines five times. You've been to all four corners of the world, so in three short seconds, can you guess from these two stanzas of one speech each what this event is about? Holy yap fest, uh, a poetry festival. Correct! It's a poetry gala, and Mondstadt and Liyue are hosting it together. Do you still remember the promise I made to the distinguished director who here during the Lantern Rite? Oh, something about writing poetry together? Yeah. That's right. At the dinner table that night, I just knew this young bard was a rare talent with exceptional taste. You know, it's rare to encounter such a kindred spirit. And now, I finally seized the chance to collaborate. It took me much trekking across the land to petition Eugene Terrace and contact the Knights of Favonius, but eventually... In the spirit of friendship and poetry sharing, I managed to successfully organize the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala. I like how all these, I like how some of these events will have continuity with each other, but when you ask Warriorverse to give like the events continuity in the main story, there's like, mm, no, a little too much effort for us. They have a weird name. Liyue's poetry is known far and wide, and Mondstadt is the city of wine and song. With two nations teaming up, it'll be double the fun, and a great chance for people from both places to get to know one another. Hu Tao and I will be the co-hosts for this poetry gala. Of course, I haven't studied the various forms and formalities of Liyue poetry for very long, so please forgive my dreadful performance just now. I, I'm all, I've always been ass at poetry, so I'm not going to understand a single word they say. Not at all, Venti. You followed my lead most excellently. <laughs> you flatter me. Well, this sounds like fun. Let's get involved. 
forsooth am I well, no, forsooth I am won't to dabble in verse what does that mean? what does that even mean? <clears throat> also sorry if my voice sounds like phlegmy like if it sounds like wobbly or phlegmy that's because I you know I, I did get sort of sick but oh Paimon sure you'll be amazing remember that time in Liyue when Paimon gave you the first half of a couplet wind rises winds never churn you came up with the second half right away but the sea of clouds clouds always return oh looks like someone's got a knack for this Perhaps we'll have to raise the difficulty a little. Alright, so basically you guys are here to discuss the activities for the poetry gala, right? Oh, looks like little Paimon's brain has gained a wrinkle or two. <laughs> you guessed it so effortlessly, but... You still guessed it wrong. Just a, just a single wrinkle, not enough. You might need a few more, Paimon. Huh? Wait, Paimon guessed wrong? We came here hoping to invite a special guest. I already told you. Oh, I'm not going. Oh, hi, Xiao. Xiao, you're here too! Never having penned a verse myself, how could I hope to judge the poetry of others? Besides, afflicted with karma as I am, the raucous atmosphere you are cultivating is precisely the kind which I must avoid, as you well know. Hey now, there's a first time for everything, right? We all start from Itsy Bitsy Spider, but give it a shot and you'll be wandering lonely as a cloud in no time. Be just like me. And you don't even have to join us in person if you really don't want to. You can just watch the party from a nearby mountaintop and uh, cheer us on. But at least head down and take a look first. It's right by the inn and there's plenty of fun activities to get involved with. It can't hurt to take a quick walk and check things out. True. Besides, with the renowned traveler here, what is there to fear? Join us. It'll be fun. <sighs> I'll consider it. <laughs> It'll show up later. Time. Why don't you all head to the venue and take a look around? Quite a few of your friends should have arrived by now. When he says I'll consider it, that's a yes. Yes, that's right. Venti and I still need to discuss the poem for the opening ceremony. So, uh, we'll catch up with you later. <sighs> Plus, our adeptus friend might need a bit more convincing. Adeptus. We'll see if we can coax him down. Oh. Gotcha! We'll be on our way then! Hmm, how about that for an opening? Yes, yes, I like it. But if we could give it a bit more oomph, mm -hmm. it would be even better. I think we should lead with a bang, dip into a slippity slide, then whoosh into a whoop whoop boom. What is she saying? Got it? Got it. <laughs> Completely understood. Two Zoomers speaking to each other in the year 2023. Literally only Zoomers could understand what they said. Wow, it's so lively. Didn't think there'd be so many people here already. And a lot of them are familiar faces. Let's go say hi. Am I interested in getting an editor for your YouTube videos at some point? Or do you prefer doing it myself? I prefer doing it myself. However, I mean, maybe eventually I'll get an editor. Because I know for a fact, like, if I want to take this seriously, I might have to get an editor in order to at least stay consistent. But for now, I still enjoy doing it myself. Although, you know, you can see the, the result of me doing it all by myself. It takes a lot, a long time for me to put out videos. Hmm? Well, look who's here. This poetry fest seems to have attracted talent of the highest caliber. Hey, Xingqiu and Changyun are here too! I was actually heading into the mountains to train, but he accosted me on the way and dragged me here. <laughs> oh, how your words wound me. Is it not the responsibility of an exorcist of Liyue to ensure that this celebration of friendship between our two nations stays free of evil spirits? True, he's like the police officer. Besides, this is an excellent opportunity to meet heroes who have come from far and wide. 
Surely. You must be curious as to how that heroine of Mondstadt was able to lift such heavy objects like they were but a feather. True. Are you talking about Noelle? Yeah, she's super strong. Oh? Well, since you are so well acquainted, could we trouble you to introduce us later? Okay, fine. But don't forget to help me with my investigation like you promised. That's the only reason I agreed to come at all. <laughs> what investigation? Uh, um, naturally, I could never forget such a thing. My word is my bond. Relax, dear Paimon. All will be revealed in time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ogi. Ogi. Are you sure that wasn't really an evil spirit? Open your mind to all possibilities, and I'm sure you will find the answer. I suppose that's true. Hey, wait a second. You're not planning on telling everyone here, are you? What are they planning? These two sneaky little... <laughs> Diona! Look at Diona. Diona! Traveler and Paimon? Uh, I didn't expect to see you here. Are you here to mix drinks? That's right. I was specially asked to attend this event on behalf of the cat's tail, and I'm also here as a mixologist representing the Mondstadt wine industry. Nice. You're representing Mondstadt's wine industry? Oh, you must be hating every minute of it. Oh, actually, yeah. Isn't she... Wait, wouldn't she be trying to sabotage the, <laughs> the alcohol then? Of course I hate it. But it's also a perfect chance to destroy the reputation of Mondstadt's wine business once and for all. Opportunities like this don't come around every day, you know. She rolled those R's real hard. <laughs> huh? How do you figure that? <laughs> all I need to do is add some gross ingredients to the drinks, and I can create the most disgusting concoctions in <laughs> Nobody will ever buy wine from Mondstadt again. She'll never. She'll. She'll. She, she still hasn't learned. Uh, Paimon thinks you'll end up getting the opposite result. Huh. Just you wait. I ain't about to mess this up. <laughs> Good luck, then. Are you gonna write some poetry with us too? Poetry? Hmm. I've heard plenty of bards sing in the tavern before, but I've never tried writing any myself. You should join in. It'll be fun. Fine. If I have time. <laughs> too busy. Too busy trying to give people alcohol poisoning. Now, should I try adding loach pearls or horse tails next? Or actually trying to kill people. Oh, wait. Since we're in Liyue, mm, I should add some Jueyun chilies. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. But no, I want to hear her laugh. Now, should I? Oh, wait. Since we're in Liyue, mm, I should add some Jueyun chilies. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you be trying to kill somebody if you add loach pearls into them? Like, what if they choke on that? Dylan, are you prepared for a lawsuit? I don't think you are. And Mika's here. Mika! This is like the only time we ever see him in the story is when he's in events. Oh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. Are you here for the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala as well? <laughs> you said that with a straight face? Is Paimon the only one who thinks it sounds good? <laughs> Are you here as Mondstadt's representatives? Re representatives? Uh, no. Nothing fancy like that. Aww. We were sent here by the Knights of Favonius to help maintain order and set up the venue. What? I thought that was Chongyun's job. But... I didn't really do anything useful so far. Noelle brought all these tables and chairs here from Mondstadt by herself. She's a true knight. Well, no, that's just not true. Your efforts were indispensable. You selected the venue, drew up the layout, and so on. Also, you're the true knight here. I'm still in training. <laughs> if anything, I should be addressing you as sir. Still in training after like what, three years? What? No, 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 no. Please don't. Just keep calling me Mika. Uh, why does it feel like these two could keep this up all day? <laughs> anyway, Master Jane did say that as long as we keep on top of our work, we should take a look around while we're here and get involved in the poetry gala as much as we can. 
But I haven't written much poetry before, so I'm not sure if I'll fit in. I actually have the same concern. Well, the important part is just to participate. Yeah, plus, you won't be alone. We're joining too. The Traveler's a really good writer, you know. No, I am not. Really? In that case, we'll try our best too. Perhaps. The challenge of writing poetry is a rite of passage that all who wish to qualify as a knight must eventually face. Yeah. Whatever you want to believe, Noel. But anyway, no backing out now. See you soon. Sure. Maybe you can teach me a thing or two. Oh, Mika beat me to it. I was going to ask for help too. We'll write together. Don't worry. Whatever is going to help, whatever is going to give her hope that she'll be a knight one day. What do you think the key to a good poem is, Mika? Do you have any idea? Huh? I uh I'm not too sure either. If I'd known we'd be doing this sooner, I would have asked Miss Lisa to recommend some books on the topic. I still find it very funny that Mika only ever appears at events. <laughs> Poems and melodies wandering the wind, wafting to pastures beyond their home. Two greedy fishies struggling to swim. They ate so much that they're starting to groan. Animal crystal fly draped in gold robes, a bright little light from that glaze lantern glows. Benches pinch the rice and scoot while the boars of the forest anxiously root. Welcome one and all to this festival of poetry, jointly organized by Lua and Mondstadt. I didn't understand a single word they said. Or in full, the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala. We're your hosts. Liyue's verse monger of the darkest alleys, Hu Tao. And Mondstadt's liquor-loving lyricist, Venti the Bard. The purpose of this event is to promote friendly poetic exchanges between our two nations. So please, have fun, talk to other people, and make some new friends. I see someone from... I see, wait, is that... I see someone from Fontaine over there. If you're here, you're our guest. So please enjoy this poetry fest. I'd also like to reassure everyone that this event welcomes people of all skill levels, from first time rhymers to seasoned songwriters. If you ask me, the most important thing you can bring to writing poetry is authenticity. That means reaching deep down to all the thoughts and feelings you usually hide away or struggle to express and putting them into words. Just write from the heart in whatever form you like. To help everyone really cut loose and enjoy themselves to the fullest, Venti and I have carefully prepared a three themes to be revealed over the course of three days. Okay. Let's get right to it. The first theme is Riddle Me This. Riddle Me This, Batman. Solving riddles, huh? Interesting. It's actually a pretty good choice for a warm-up activity. Whew. I'm glad they're not making us write sonnets or something right at the start. Does everyone see the lanterns hanging around the venue? These have been specially prepared what did that for the riddle game. <laughs> that bird just did a 360 mirror. <laughs> Simply write down your riddle and hang it on a lantern. Then Venti and I will select a few to pose to the crowd, and you will try to solve them. We'll now give you some time to write down and hang up your riddles. Feel free to walk around and talk with the other contestants to get the creative juices flowing. And remember, whoever guesses the most riddles correctly will get a prize. And with that, the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala has officially begun. Yeah. I should have enough time to do this. View poetry riddle. <clears throat> How far the flowers roam. A visitor asks me why. For a dream beyond the sky. Okay, someone from Liyue definitely wrote this one. <laughs> I just read that one too. Liyue's poems seem pretty difficult to grasp. Dreams? Sky? Is it talking about some kind of bird? Um, so it means something like, uh, this thing's really far from home. 
It's in a vast area, and it's flying really high. Is that it? <laughs> in a nutshell. Oh, you're amazing, Paimon. Oh, that looks like I still have a lot of learning to do. She gained another crinkle. Oh, it's nothing, really. Once you've spent enough time in Liyue, you just sort of pick up on these things. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Back when I was out with the Grandmaster on the expedition, I started picking up some local customs without even realizing it. What customs? Like, back to the riddle. We still haven't actually solved it. What could it be talking about? Wait, I just realized Mika has a tie. <laughs> what is this fit? Why you gotta. Why does this man have a. T why does this boy have a tie? And why is it yellow? <laughs> Something that flies high and far. Hmm. Oh, that makes me think of dandelions. Oh, that makes sense. And Mondstaters believe that dandelions can carry your feelings on the wind. But maybe we're missing something? We can't be that easy. After all, it's a riddle from Liyue. What would their equivalent of the dandelion be? If there even is one. And also, he has a little ponytail in the back of his head. Jesus Christ, what is it with Hoyaverse and the ponytail? His little rat tail on the back. What do you think, Traveler? They just be doing anything with these character designs. I think Dandelion is the right answer. Great! Then we'll have one answer ready to go when the game begins. The important thing is that it's authentic. Right! Just like Venti said. As long as the interpretation makes sense and reflects our perception of the poem, then perhaps there are no wrong answers. Well, no matter what the real answer is, the guessing's all a part of the fun! Let's go look at the next one! Oh yes! I want to see if there's any Mondstadt-style riddles. Maybe it's only Eula's division that has those ties? That would make sense, because she does have a tie. You're right. Where is she at? I haven't used Yulo in a while. Her tie is like a lot bigger though. Why do they wear ties? Hmm. This one says, oh, this handwriting is just awful. Um, I have four corners like a square <laughs> pancake, but I'm stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked. I pass through the lips one piece at a time. The more you consume, the broader your mind. Singcho definitely wrote this. Oh, well, Paimon's drooling from that one. Is there really a food that can make you smarter? Paimon's got to try that. <laughs> oh, Paimon, you have to look past the surface level meaning with riddles, or you'll fail to plumb their depths. Huh? So have you got any ideas, Shincho? <laughs> well... He did write it. <laughs> Singcho just hung that riddle up a moment ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hence the terrible handwriting. Oh, so this is Shincho's riddle! You know, Paimon was expecting you to write something a little more... elegant. This festival is about building friendship and mutual understanding. With so many friends from Mondstadt present, I thought I'd try writing something more accessible and less flowery so that more people could enjoy it. Hey, not bad! Uh, so, buddy, does that mean you can tell your old pal Paimon the answer on the slide? <laughs> It'll cost you, Paimon. Not a chance. You'll have to wait for the answer to be revealed, just like everyone else. <gasps> Mimi! If that's how you feel, why don't you try and stump me with a riddle of your own? She doesn't have enough brain cells to come up with one line. <laughs> You'll help Paimon come up with a riddle, right? Uh, no. <laughs> you think I could come up with one? No. Gladly, though. Ha! At least you're nice to Paimon. <laughs> then I look forward to seeing the fruits of your literary labors. Ha! Prepare to get stumped! Have I realized Mika has piercing, too? Yeah, I saw the piercing on him. He has, like, the blue, the blue stud. Drink 
not a sip. With a passionless face, I greet countless guests who might carry all day without needing to rest. A chair. Uh, is this talking about some kind of animal? This is a chair. All animals need to eat. It's a chair! Yeah! See, Diona gets it. Huh? That was pretty easy, though. No, of course I didn't write it. The answer just popped into my head. I'm always telling the cats in the tavern that the chairs get tired from working all the time, so they shouldn't use them to sharpen their claws. Oh, okay. So a riddle needs to have a bait and switch. Are you trying to write one? Yep, and thanks to you, Paimon's just thought of one. <laughs> it's gonna be about a cat. Maybe I should try to come up with one, too. <laughs> All right, Paimon's riddle is now hanging up. Diona, do you want to know the answer? Nah, no need. I don't really care about winning a prize. Oh, okay then. <laughs> well, looks like it's time to carry on with the event. We should regroup with the others. She's too busy trying to kill people with alcohol. Sure, have fun. Okay, so wait, I want to see this. Tender side for home when uh tender side for home how far the flowers roam a visitor asks me why for a dream the beyond the sky. Uh hmm. This one is hard. This one is hard as hell for sure. Tender side for home how far the flowers roam a visitor asks me why for a dream beyond the sky. I don't know. Something maybe cloud or cloud or a star. Hey, I don't looks know. Looks like everyone's about done mingling and riddling. <laughs> Gather around and look this way. Okay, wait. Is this not a hydro idolon? It, it, is this literally not a hydro idolon <laughs> in, the, in their human form? Wait, can, can we get this? Can we get this clear first? <laughs> Venti and I have selected several riddles from everyone's contributions, and we added a few of our own to the mix for good measure. Shortly, we'll randomly select a few to read aloud. If your riddle gets selected, remember that you have to announce the correct answer at the end. Anyone who guesses correctly gets one point, and if nobody guesses correctly, the writer of the riddle gets a point. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> of course, when the riddler reveals the right response, it only counts if everyone agrees that it's not too far-fetched. True. That's right. <laughs> now, if there are no more questions, it's time to reveal the first riddle. Hopefully, they'll draw at least some that I can get. Oh no, does only the first person to solve it get the points? Ugh, that means I have to be first to raise my hand. Please choose Paimon's riddle, please choose Paimon's riddle! Uh -uh. Riddle number one. Let me see here. Ugh, this riddle is, uh, unique, um, uh -uh. especially the handwriting. <laughs> oh gosh, she picks, <laughs> she picks St. Joe's. I have four? Co four, four corners, like a square pancake, but I'm st stuffed and <laughs> seasoned and carefully baked. Baked? Oh my. Baked. I pass through the chips, lips. Oh my. Uh, one piece at a time. The more you uh, consume. Oh. Consume. Consume the broader your mind. <laughs> <laughs> when a slow reader meets a terrible, a terrible handwriter, Jesus Christ, this is worse than popcorn reading with the with the worst reader in class. <gasps> they drew Shinchos. Better answer as quickly as you can. You don't want someone else beating you to it. It's, uh, pizza! The answer is pizza! Eh. 
Without the author coming forward, I can confidently declare this answer wrong. I mean, how does eating pizza broaden your mind? Hey, eating pizza gives you energy so you can broaden your mind. And while I'm no expert in exotic dishes, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> pizza is round, is it not? Uh, like mora meat? Uh, but actually, actually, there are some pizza... Never mind, sorry. But eating pizza makes you happy, and being happy makes it easier to face problems that need solving, so... True, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Okay, Paimon admits she may have jumped the gun on this one. <laughs> Maybe it's some other kind of food. Oh, no, 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 no. Riddles are never that simple, and it needs to be something that makes people more intelligent. Hmm, if Paimon had known it was gonna be this tough, she'd have read more books in her time. <gasps> Paimon. Uh, what is it? Have you read it? Books. Huh? They're square, and they've got lots of big words baked into them. Every big word that passes through your lips as you read out as you read it out makes you smarter. Oh, gotcha! Books! The answer is books! <laughs> She's so happy for that. <laughs> that was quicker than I expected. I was quite proud of that one. Oh, it appears the riddle writer has announced the answer. Okay, one point to Paimon. The little lizard, Oh, <laughs> He wants to participate. He had his hand up. He had his hand up. You didn't call on him. Huh? So the answer was books? Oh, how did I not get that? Come on, Mika. Concentrate. <laughs> We're awesome at this! Ahem. <clears throat> oh, uh, what Paima meant to say was that you're awesome at this. Thanks for the point, Traveler. You're welcome. On to riddle number two. I gotta get in there first this time. High above the wispy clouds, amidst the gloomy snow-filled shroud, standing alone on an icy stage, beneath it every lowly sage. <laughs> Looks like a poem from Leela. Wait, high above the the wispy clouds, amidst the gloomy snow-filled shroud, uh, standing alone on an icy stage, beneath it every lowly sage. Hmm. Oh, it's. I got it. Uh. uh oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like those two have some ideas. Hmm. Could it be some kind of plant that lives in cold, high places? Mika, please go ahead. As a full knight of Avonius, you represent all of us from Mondstadt here. Aww. Uh, no, no, how could I? It was you who thought of it first. You should be the one to guess. Bruh. Well, my answer isn't necessarily correct. Besides, it's first come, first served, and you beat me to it. N no, I didn't. You were just before me. All right, you two, come on. Just let's, let's just play some rock paper scissors for it. Let's wrap it up. Uh, how gracious and considerate our fellow competitors are towards each other! A wonderful sight to see. How about both of you say your answer at the same time? If you're both right, you'll each get a point. Oops, I didn't realize we'd made such a scene. Oh crud. I guess we dragged that out a bit. <laughs> um, so, Noel, uh, what do you say? Yes, let's. Our answer is... Cecilia. Cecilia. Oh, that certainly sounds like a good candidate for the correct answer. A flower that blooms on the highest peaks and known for its exquisite beauty. The Cecilia is held by many Mondstatters to be the true wind bloom. Uh... Although, since the writer hasn't yet come forward to announce the answer, this probably wasn't the answer they were looking for. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Any other answers? I I feel like I know what it is, but I don't want to say it out loud. Okay, you know what? I mean, it doesn't even matter. I was thinking the moon. That's probably dumb. That's probably not the answer, but... Oh, I can't believe I was wrong. Maybe it's a plant from Liyue. Is the answer Qingxin? The poem does evoke a strong sense of quiet, proud solitude in a high place. Correct. I wrote this one. Jinxin oh. is the right answer. Jinxin. No! Shinjo got it before Paimon could. However, I wasn't after thinking listening flower. to the host's description, I do remember reading about Cecilia flowers in a book once. They definitely fit the description of a pure flower standing proudly and alone on high. Is this not a Hydro Idolin? So... 
I'd like to approve the answer from our two friends from Mondstadt as well. Really? Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> well, since even the Riddler themselves agrees, all three contestants earn a point each. Darn it! Shinjo's caught up to Paimon already! <laughs> We're only just getting started. Yeah, you're probably right. Moving now to our third riddle. Huh? Why is the handwriting so... floaty? Floaty? What's got no wings but flies in the air, never gets tired of floating up there. So full of mora it comes out the nose, but in the sea, glug, 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 down it goes. What? Okay, this is probably Paimon's, but... What is... What's got no wings but flies in the air, never gets tired of floating up there. So full of mora it comes out the nose, but in the sea, glug, 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 down it goes? Uh-huh. Wait, so full wait, so full of more it comes out the nose. Huh. It's Paimon's! They picked Paimon's riddle! Yay! Uh, uh. Hmm. hmm. I can't find out Why this one. He? I don't know this one. Why isn't anyone guessing? Is Paimon's riddle too hard? <laughs> That's not quite it. More like, it's so ludicrously simple that we just cannot believe it. What? No way! Well, go on then. Tell us the answer if you're so sure. The answer is Paimon. Paimon? Uh, what? It's Paimon. It's Paimon. I was actually gonna say Paimon too. Me too. Uh, no! You're all completely wrong! <laughs> Did you all think the answer was Paimon? Paimon, do you have wings behind your back? Uh, no. Uh, you're always floating, but you never seem to get tired of it. And Paimon has a very healthy appetite, which must cost the traveler a lot of mora and meal expenses. How did I not I've figure this? I senior knights that the traveler rescued Paimon by fishing her out of the sea. So, that means Paimon can't swim. So if she fell in the sea, then... Uh... uh. Glug, glug. Wait, wait. Now Paimon's doubting herself. What was the answer again? Okay, I think about it for a moment. Okay, okay, that actually kind of stumped me because I didn't think that she would choose herself. <laughs> uh, no, you're all wrong. The answer to Paimon's fail is obviously the Jade Chamber. You know, the Jade Chamber that's always flying up there in the sky? Is that so? Hmm. I still maintain that the riddle actually describes Paimon more accurately. In fact, if we just added two more lines to the poem, it would be the perfect riddle. Huh? What do you want to add? The traveler's companion and talkative guide. A praiseworthy presence always by their side. <laughs> That's too obvious, though. Can we really add that part? <laughs> I can vouch for it. <laughs> they just let it. They, they, she just accidentally let them rewrite her entire poem. Okay, then Paimon would like to announce that the correct answer to the riddle is the widely adored Paimon! Why do I feel like they just gaslit her into thinking that Paimon was the answer? Great! And with that, the widely adored Paimon has gifted a point each to everyone who answered just now. They literally just gaslit her <laughs> for just a point. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Guessing riddles is a lot of fun. And even though Paimon didn't manage to beat Shincho, Paimon still feels like she got a little smarter. Oh, uh, didn't Chongyu mention he was investigating something before? Let's go ask him about it. Jade Chamber was actually a pretty smart answer. I feel like it would have been too. I feel like that actually was the answer, but they just basically, <laughs> they flattered her so much that they wanted to change, that she ended up changing the answer because it made her feel happy. Oh? Hi, Paimon. You know, for a moment there, <coughs> I was worried I might lose to you. Oh, are you collecting your prize right now? I am indeed. Though, if you really want it, I'd be more than happy to give it to you. Seriously? Wow, what is it? Um... Um... 
most generous donation by yours truly uh -oh. as director of the Wong Sheng Funeral Parlor. Namely, a buy one, get one free coupon for our high-end customized service package. It's a pleasant surprise to learn. You're so interested in it, Paimon. Paimon, run. <laughs> nope, nah, -uh. no thank you, hard pass, you can keep it. <laughs> Are you sure? In that case... I'll gladly take it. Why are you taking it? Here you are. Now remember, this package comes with our anytime, anywhere, on-demand collection service. Just give us a call and we'll be right there. Uh, with any luck, <laughs> we'll still show up even if you're <clears throat> unable to call. Uh, Singcho, who are you planning to kill? So, to what do we owe the honor, Paimon? Uh, who, uh, who is he planning to kill? Paimon's looking for, not you. Wasn't he saying something about needing help? Oh, yeah. That. How about I put it in riddle form? Huh? Isn't the competition over? Twas like a demon not demonic, or devil devoid of the diabolic. Afar it floated free above the ground, but when approached, though sought, not could be found. Twas like a demon not demonic. Uh, or devil devoid of the diabolic, afar it floated free of above the ground, uh, but when approached, it sought not could be found. Wait, was it an abyss mage? Um, sounds to me like you encountered a ghastly little ghosty in the wild. It could have been a ghost too, yeah. Perhaps I should just explain it. Basically, while I was training this morning, I suddenly caught sight of a non-human entity. It was floating in the air without any kind of external aid, and its body was almost transparent. At first I thought I'd finally encountered a demon that wasn't propelled by my pure yang spirit, and immediately prepared to exercise it. But none of my methods had any effect on it. And when I went to try and get a closer look at it, and try to ascertain what I was dealing with, it disappeared into thin air. I'm thinking Abyss Mage for some reason, because, dis because Abyss Mages can disappear very easily, and they also float. Hmm. Abyss mages are evil as hell, though. They're not demonic, though. Mm, At least I don't you're think. You're sure it's not a ghost or spirit of some kind? Quite sure. I could sense that it had a physical body. And if it were a spirit, I'm sure it would have been scared away long before I saw it. It's all my fault. I got overexcited, and in my haste, I didn't ascertain its true nature before taking action. Hmm. Thinking back on it, if it wasn't an evil spirit... Maybe I offended some kind of adeptus or illuminated beast. You probably know if it was an abyss mage. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you shouldn't blame yourself. It was something you'd never seen before. Anyone else would have reacted the same way. Besides, we're making up for it now by doing our best to find out the truth. Any thoughts, Venti? Have you managed to untangle Chong Yun's twisted tail? Hmm. Why don't you take a guess first, Tu Tao? Oh, and that means you have. <laughs> I can't be absolutely certain, but I'm reasonably sure it's not what Liyue would call an evil spirit or demon. So whatever it is, it's not dangerous. Hmm. Is it? No, it can't be. Hmm. No. How about this? We can incorporate a search element into tomorrow's poetry activity. Oh, does that mean we get to play outside while we write poetry? <laughs> Close, but no. Good ideas could just pop into your head out of thin air, but if you ask me, everyone should relax tonight and get a good rest before tomorrow. You say that, but your gaze keeps drifting over towards the wine stand. <laughs> uh oh. Is it a Hydro Idolin? Because that's the only other thing that I think is a physical thing that can disappear with ease and also floats. And we also saw the one the one girl that looked like a Hydro Eidolon from the event. Hmm. Let's wait. This is the shop. K 
Okay. We're gonna do all of these first. Tears among the leaves. I gotta wait for eight o'clock. <clears throat> wow, everyone got here so early. <laughs> the lizard's still here. The sun is shining bright today. <laughs> as soon as that leaf floats past Stonegate, we shall reveal today's poetry theme. The theme of the second day of the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala is pairing couplets. Pairing couplets? Well, I've heard of that. It's a Leoe art form where you have to create new lines of poetry based on fixed rules. Kind of like a fill-in-the-blanks game, but for poetry. Heaven and earth, rain and wind, the endless sky in the boundless land, forest boars and ocean shrimp, lavender melons and matsutake shrooms. Based on a given line of poetry, you must create the second line to form a pair or couplet. As long as you take inspiration from the wide world around you, you'll find it's not so difficult after all. Mm. The two lines should be neatly matched, complementing each other both semantically and rhythmically. In essence, it's just like most other forms of poetry. To bully your imaginations and allow the winds of inspiration to fill your sails, we've added an additional component, an inspiration walk. An inspiration walk got translated to a nature tour. <laughs> an inspiration walk? By inspiration walk, we simply mean wandering around in the wild, taking in the scenery, and pocketing any poetic thoughts. Of course, to all our friends, old and new, please be careful while out and about. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor is already fully booked for the month ahead. Uh. And if there's any more demand, I'll be the only one with a smile on my face. Oh, Jesus Christ, Hotel. In short, please roam freely as the mood takes you. Enjoy the spectacular scenery of our two beautiful nations and fill your imaginations with the most pleasing of poetry. We will all reconvene here tonight. Traveler, can you round up Singcho, Chongyun, and the Mondstadt contingent? I have a favor to ask of you. Oh, is it that thing from yesterday? No problem. <laughs> Thanks. I'm counting on you. Yeah, the team briefly describe what's going so, on. We hope that each of you can keep an eye out for this while you're out on your inspiration walk. Are you sure this is okay? It was just something I ran into, and now we're imposing my business on everyone else. Well, please don't say that, Mr. Chong Yoon. Master Jean ordered us to work with you however we can to improve cooperation. Helping each other out is exactly what we're here for. Besides, investigating any strange occurrences near Mondstadt and making a report to the Knights of Avonius is also part of our job. I don't mind either, because while we're out, I can look for new cocktail ingredients, too. Oh. <laughs> Just think of it like an outing with friends. It'll be fun. No need to feel bad. The way I see it, you should just humbly accept their willingness to help. All right. In that case, thank you all very much. I will be sure to repay your kindness someday. Nice. Now, how about we split into two groups for the day? Uh, you mean to cover more ground? Not just that. Don't forget, this is still part of the poetry gala. If we all see the same sights and sounds during our inspiration walk, how can we write unique poems? True. That's true. But how do we decide who goes in which group? Why don't we draw lots? Oh god, more gambling. Yeah! <laughs> That'll <coughs> make things even Drawing lots? But what if I end up with the Lee Yue crowd? And I can't think of anything to say to them. <laughs> Aww. I've got the slips of paper here. Who wants to go first? Oh, Paimon! Paimon wants to go first! Bo does not want to socialize. <laughs> okay, so that's the Traveler, Paimon, Diona, and Chongyun in one group, and Singcho, Mika, and Noel in the other. What a relief. Uh, at least I'll have Noel with me. Then I humbly place myself at your instruction. Oh, 
Uh, I don't think... Uh, th that won't be... <laughs> I also await your guidance. No need to be so formal. Take care, everyone. See you all tonight. Did anyone forget to bring anything? If not, then let's get going! Dun, 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 dun. Come on! <laughs> wow. Are those ears and tail real? So fluffy. Oh, Kai. <laughs> All right. Miss Diona, is there some place in particular you would like to go? Just call me Diona. Since we're trying to find that thing you saw, why don't we start with the place you saw it last time? Um, lead the way, Captain Chong Yoon. Captain? Hey, quit messing around. Oh, hi, Xiao. <laughs> He's a secret chaperone. <clears throat> The secret chaperone of the trip. Ah, it's raining? Ah, that's all right. The real problem would be if we could feel water dripping on our heads in the fortress of Maripede. Oh, no, by, by the way, I've I've uh been like slowly leveling up uh real slay. Or Risley. You know, I recently found out. Uh, um, Feng told me at the uh, what was it? I, I don't know if it was Feng. It, someone at TwitchCon told me that uh, his name is actually pronounced Risley. I did not know it was. You guys weren't joking that it was pronounced Risley. I thought you guys were joking about that. I've been pronouncing his name wrong the entire time. Right over there, next to the water. That's where I saw it. But it was a little foggy at the time, so I didn't get a clear look. Uh, the view from here is great, but there's kind of a gloomy atmosphere around here. Is this the kind of place you like to take a walk? I wasn't taking a walk. I come here to train. Train? Like how knights train for combat? Um, it's a bit different. As an exorcist of Liyue, my training involves practicing techniques for the exorcism of evil spirits. Exorcism? I've always wanted to demonstrate the power of exorcism, but... It's a pity. I've never actually gotten the chance. Chang Yun is one in a million! He has pure Yang spirit, so as soon as he gets close, evil spirits run and hide! Huh? Isn't that a good thing? It's awful. Have you ever heard of an exorcist that's never seen an evil spirit? <laughs> a lot of people think I'm a fraud because of this condition of mine. Fraudulent. Your physical constitution is far rarer than the technique still passed down by exorcists today. You should treasure it. Hi, Xiao. Conqueror of demons. Is that a friend of yours? Yep, this is Xiao, an adeptus of Liyue. An adeptus? Wow, I've never seen one of those before. Uh, hello, Mr. Adeptus. Just call me Xiao. Xiao. So, are you here to train too? Or are you out for an inspiration walk? Bro's always got to stand up higher than everyone else because if he stands on head level with people, <laughs> they'll be looking down on him. <laughs> I noticed you, chicks, Xiao. When I heard about the exorcist's encounter, my suspicions were roused. That's why I'm here. I've already informed the owner of the inn. If you see anything out of the ordinary, return immediately and leave it to me. I... Uh, oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to drag even the Conqueror of Demons into this. I have already patrolled the area and found nothing amiss. Either the anomaly you encountered was no evil spirit, or perhaps it already left. I guess that means we came all this way for nothing. If there's no other business, I'll be taking my leave now. Wait, come on an inspiration walk with us. Mm. Come on. Yeah, you should come. There's no one else around here anyway, so you don't need to worry. Come on. But please. I would also be honored if you joined us, Adeptus Xiao. It is a rare opportunity, and I have many questions about exercising evil spirits that I would like to ask you. <sighs> please, pretty please. Please. Fine. Yay. 
seems like this Adeptus is pretty shy. Or maybe all the Adepti in Liyue are like this. <laughs> Team Changyun has a new member! Yay! Wh what? When did this become my team? Now that Adeptus Xiao is joining us, if anyone's team leader, it should be... Don't overthink it! Uh, Diona, didn't you say you wanted to find some new ingredients? Yeah, I don't get to come to Liyue very often, so I want to gather some new ingredients while I'm here. I've heard that Liyue's Jueyun chilies can set your throat on fire! Monko. Is that true? <laughs> I'm gonna mix them into my drinks and give it a try! Oh god. Uh-huh. Jueyun chilies. She really is trying to kill someone. Um, I'm not <coughs> sure that would <coughs> taste very good. Really? Perfect! Let's go pick a whole bunch of them. What the... <laughs> Diona casually meeting a semi god, yeah. As well as Dwayun chilies, I also need some slime condensate or loach pearls. Are those really fit for human consumption? This is starting to sound like something Shangling would make. <laughs> yeah, Diona just like casually meets a demigod and is like, "Hey, can you come on a walk with me to gather some stuff to kill people with?" I want to make the I want to make the next alcoholic I serve choke. Oh yeah, they give you everyone in the party. Yo, wait, that's actually cool. That's cute. They allow you to play Zhao. <coughs> Committed to, uh, making alcoholic drinks available to people of all tastes. Hmm. What? No! Never! I hate alcohol! She's so real. When grown-ups drink too much, they get that stupid drunk look on their faces, can't speak clearly, and don't even respond properly. Sometimes, they just sleep on the floor all night. Alcohol is the root of all kinds of evil! <laughs> Maybe we should show that show that sentence to Fob. So, I'm on a mission to mix the most disgusting drink in the whole world and show everyone just how awful alcohol really is. Nothing can stand in my way. If it means coming out to Liyue every day to pick fresh Dreyun chilies, then so be it. Hmm. Um, is it really worth all that effort? Uh, yeah. Because all <laughs> my previous efforts have failed. Those stinking booze hounds not only haven't woken up to the truth of how bad alcohol is, they even keep praising my drinks. It makes me furious! <laughs> <laughs> how is that possible? If this is the kind of stuff you're throwing into their drinks, it must taste absolutely vile, surely. <sighs> hmm. Are you calling me a liar? Well, if you don't believe me, I'll fix you a drink right now. Then you'll see. Uh, uh, no, no need. I... Uh... Huh, just you wait. <laughs> Here oh, she no. goes. Is she really going to add those Juyun chilies? Here she goes. If her claims are true, perhaps she too possesses a unique constitution of some kind. I don't see how it could have anything to do with her. Unless... She's under the influence of some kind of power? Maybe an evil spirit? No. I sense no trace of the demonic in her. Although there are traces of something else. Something rather special. In Liyue, we might say this child has adeptal affinity. Adeptal infinity? She, she, she just cried. ready. Here, I made one for Xiao too. Yeah, no wonder she's like ca so casual about meeting a demigod. Uh, oh. Boy, 
Look at that color. Yep. She definitely added Julian chilies. What's wrong? You're not allergic to anything, are you? Don't worry. There isn't even any alcohol in it. It's a slime condensate base with a seasoning of Jueyun chilies and finished with frog legs. Frog legs. Mmm. Surely there's no way this can possibly taste good. I've actually had frog legs before. They were okay. Uh, don't forge yourself. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Shout down it in a single gulp. Oh. Uh. Great. Uh, if the Conqueror of Demons drank it, uh, it'd be rude of me to refuse. Oh, oh he about to throw up. Erm. Um. Yun drank his too! Uh, is he gonna be okay? Or is his popsicles? This drink is delicious! It does have a touch of Ju Yun chili, but it isn't at all overpowering. It's completely different from Shangling's cooking or those drinks Sing Cho makes to mess with me. Oh my. It's crisp and refreshing with just a hint of numbness, and the Ju Yun chili flavor combines with the smooth but not slimy <laughs> texture of the frog legs to form a heavenly mixture. And oh, the slimes. Can we talk about the slimes? Before this, I never knew that they had such a pure and herby taste, like fresh grass after the rain. The power and purity of nature distilled into a cup. Amazing. Simply unbelievable. <laughs> bro, turned it to, bro turned it to Keith Lee. <laughs> Stay drinking that. Yo. Bro just started yapping. <laughs> bro just started talking like he was Keith Lee, bruh. No way. That's right. Signs are absolutely sublime. Oh, I failed again. <sighs> but wait. What's gotten into Chong Yun? He's been so quiet up until now. Are you okay? I'm great, and I gotta try another. Diona, if you please, one more. <laughs> oh, God. I... Uh, oh, oh. Okay. I think I've calmed down a bit. I'm sorry. I can't believe I let you all see me like that. It's fine. My fault for not checking your spice tolerance first. Oh, looks like this Pure Yang spirit isn't such a great thing to have after all. Actually, before I drank it, I very much doubted what you said about your drinks. Uh. <sighs> huh, who'd have thought it? Diana and Changyun are actually kind of similar. The collective sigh. Hmm? Huh? Xiao? What's um, wrong? Um, look over there. What? What did that? You mean the leaf? Something's written on it. Over here? Let's grab it and take a look. Oh yeah, or it'll get swept away. That was cute. Bro just li <laughs> Bro just started yapping. There's a poem written on it. The conqueror of demons has truly amazing vision. The primacy. The sky, the night. The sky that night blossomed with flowers. The stars that night hummed like bees in search of nectar and of dreams. And we that night were as new as the dew, under moonlight flowing like silken honey, our words sweet as we sat by the spring. But I turned and left you alone. The poem in my heart left unspoken, and since then the stars do not twinkle. The moon is ice cold. I hide neath I hide them neath the water, but your tears fall and find them. Yeah, I don't know what this means. And I'm not even going to try to like understand what it means. Hmm. It sounds like the author is writing about the first time they met their true love. Oh. Although the following lines suggest that they didn't end up together. Why write a poem on a fallen leaf? Damn. The flowing waters are ruthless. They carry the leaves away with the current. This poem would likely have vanished into the void had we not found it. It makes no sense to me. Hmm. Sometimes people write poems simply to express themselves. Doesn't matter if anyone reads it. That's true. I've heard Sing Cho say something similar before. 
when there's things that you're unable to say, or just never had the chance to say before it was too late, if it can be put on paper, it can be expressed as poetry. That's true art. Is it kind of like wishing at a fountain? I used to do that sometimes when I was little. So, that means that our mystery poet was probably hoping that someone would read it, right? You think? Then, should we write a poem in reply? But we don't know who wrote it. How can we reply? Why not go upstream? Upstream? Why? The ink looks fresh. It can't have been written too long ago. This withered leaf floated down with the current. If we travel further upstream and drop a leaf into the same waters, it should be carried down past the original writer. Cool! Aw, this is so romantic! <coughs> Communicating with a mystery person using poems on fallen leaves! <laughs> but how do we make sure that they'll receive it? We can write extra copies and drop the leaves in different places. As they say, where there's a will, there's a way. Surely at least one of our leaves will find a path. Either way, it's our only option. Then let's make like a tree and head upstream! No, I don't get to use Shao anymore. Squall and Fury! I want to use Xiao again. I wonder when Xiao's next rerun is going to be. Ow. Hello, puppy. 420. Upstream. Up we go. Oh, did you think of what to write yet? I already finished writing it. Amidst the dark, fireflies aglow, pebbles unmoved by the stream's flow. If words yet remain and love holds to the last, against the world can the small stand fast. In honeyed moonlight, may you once more bask. That's a nice one, actually. What's wrong? This is a great suggestion, Xiao. Seems like the idea of getting involved has grown on you. Things you never had the chance to say before it was too late. When silence is the final word, we mourn the loss of things unheard. You should try writing a poem too, Xiao. I have little talent for, nor knowledge of poetry. But you definitely have a lot on your mind, so... The least in the water! Look, it's like a little boat! Dream. Life is but a dream. <laughs> we should probably pick up the pace. We still have a few more leaves to set afloat, and we need to get back before it gets dark. Okay, let's go! <laughs> as, if it, uh -huh. as if it's not already dark. What's this? You two having a private chat? No, it's nothing. I just hope this isn't all in vain. That's cute. The scenery here is quite beautiful. Let's pause here to seek some inspiration. Wow, look at that. Should we set up camp? Oh, please wait a moment. I'll pitch the tent. <laughs> Jesus. It's an inspiration walk. There's no need for all that. Okay. Well, I'll conduct reconnaissance nearby to ensure this area is safe and see if I can't scavenge any firewood or food while I'm at it. Wait, reconnaissance? It means survey the environment and plan our route forward. It's the foundation of all operations while out in the wild. Oh god, he's such a nerd. Are all inspiration walks in Mondstadt this complicated? He said, no, he's just a nerd. They're acting like this is completely normal. Am I the weirdo here? <laughs> no, um, well, we, we've got like three nerds here. I mean, one of them is more of just, uh, I don't know, kind of a little more normal than, than the two of them, but. In that case, I'll conduct reconnaissance with Mika. Uh-huh. Uh, oh. Okay then. Crumbs. 
Now I have to try and make small talk. Should I mention the scenery? Uh, the weather? Very well. Then leave the camp to me. So, Sing Cho, uh, do, do you, um, go on inspiration walks often, or, or uh... <laughs> I do. I always get bored when I'm cooped up at home, so I head out for a stroll. Life gets busy. You have to steal a moment of leisure when you can. <laughs> cool. Uh, oh, over there, firewood! The average introvert trying to make small talk. Or socially anxious, rather. Socially anxious people. Bro said crumbs, that's crazy. <laughs> Mika's definitely the kind of person that's, that'll say, gee, willikers. <laughs> My golly. Good grief. Oh. Rain outlines your face. Know my sword. Actually, I don't even have Mika. Do I not have Mika? I don't think I do. No, I don't have Mika yet. Shit. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> Drats. Good heavens. Oh my word. With this wood and the food I brought along, we can definitely put together a decent lunch. Hello, Nikolai. You've got quite a knack at wilderness survival. I'll give you that. Thanks. I... I was on an expedition with the Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius for a while, not too long ago. I was in charge of surveying and mapping. Oh? You sound like a character from an adventure novel. Charging across the world, sword in hand. What? Uh, no, I'm nowhere near as amazing as all that. If I really run into a powerful enemy, I... Always leave it for someone stronger to deal with. Aww. You're too modest, Mika. A hero is measured not by the blood on his sword, but by what's in his heart. As long as a righteous heart that yearns to aid others beats within your chest, no matter where you go or what you have achieved, you may be called a hero. Spit. That all sounded pretty profound. Oh, I've never even thought about any of that before. But he wears his vision on his hand, I just noticed. Huh. Hello? Are you okay? Maybe we should return, lest Noel be forced to wait on us. Oh, uh, sure. What if he punches somebody and it breaks? Wait, can the vision even be broken? Probably the coolest place to put your vision. But what if you were doing a money? What if someone asked you to go band for band with them? And then you had to do a money spread and you just had a vision on your hand. And you just had like that entire money spread lead up to your vision. Imagine the, the that is the biggest flex ever. Holy shit. I would definitely be going band to band for with everyone if I had a vision. <laughs> and I could just put it anywhere. But you're back. Did everything go smoothly? Do you need a cloth to wipe the sweat from your brow? No need, thanks. All clear. There's no danger in the vicinity. She really put up a whole ass tent. Noelle, your cooking is amazing. Every single dish is so tasty. Truly astounding. I never imagined it was possible to enjoy such a satisfying meal in the great outdoors. Really? Then what do you usually eat when you're out on an inspiration walk? Oh, well, since I usually sneak out from home, I just grab some dried snacks to take with me. Add in whatever fruit I pick along the way, and that's my lunch. 
Wow. <laughs> By sneaking out, you mean running away from home? That's right. Or sometimes I'll tell a cover story like, I'm going out to take care of business. But if you get caught, won't you get disciplined? So just don't get caught. <laughs> True. Huh. Mm. <laughs> so real for that. Anyway, did anything interesting come up while you were out scouting? Well, Xing Cho and I talked about what it means to be a hero. Now that I think about it, by Xing Cho's definition, you should be considered a hero too, Noel. Huh? Me? They're not wrong. You're always happy to help everyone in the Knights of Favonius. Not only that, but whenever we're out training, you help out the citizens of Mondstadt. Oh, remember that time when a giant boulder was blocking the road? You cut it in two with a single blow. Damn. Oh, sounds like she has both a heroic spirit and incredible martial prowess. Don't. Oh, please don't praise me like that. We should talk about what we came here to do. Finding inspiration. Miss Hu Tao said something about pocketing our poetic thoughts. Mm. But so far, all you've done is gather some firewood and cook lunch. Mm. I have no idea what to write. You can write about anything. Looking at Cor Lapis, one can't help but wonder if one's own heart is as bright and clear as Jade. Observing silk, so bright and beautiful, one pauses to consider whether it ever feels the sadness and sorrow that humans do. So we have hmm. to connect our internal world with the external one? Yeah, sorry, I don't know how to do that. Exactly. But that's just one of many possible methods. Perhaps you might gaze out at the bridge in the distance and see a woman leaning on the railing, looking as if her heart is laden by sorrows that even the rushing waters below cannot wash away. Hey, wait, is this girl we saw before? Huh? Wait, I saw her at the gala yesterday. She wrote one of the riddles we answered. Why don't we go say hi? Yeah, we saw this girl before. All that strength and wasted potential to make Noelle a full-fledged knight? I'm pretty sure they have answered why they, um, why they don't make her a knight, though. It's for, I'm pretty sure Jean said it's for her own safety, right? Time to act. Check out of vision, I didn't get to. Hello, My bad. How fortuitous it is that we meet again. Uh, hello. Are you here on your inspiration walk too? Yes. Allow me to introduce ourselves. I am Xingqiu, and this is Noel and Mika. Thank you for accepting our answer to your riddle yesterday. Oh, don't mention it. It's all in good fun. I'm Kelly Roe. Kelly Roe. So, Miss Kelly Roe, are you from Fontaine? That's right. I was traveling in the area and just happened to see there was a poetry event being held at Stone Gate. It looked fun, so I thought I'd drop in. Your riddle yesterday made quite an impression on me. It was uniquely evocative. Have you studied Liyue poetry before? I haven't, actually. I've just picked up a few things here and there from chatting with people throughout my travels. Mm. Amazing! So you're a natural poet. Sick. Hello, I look at all the knave in JD Mac. We noticed you standing on the bridge from quite some distance away. Are you drawing poetic inspiration from the flowing current beneath your feet? <laughs> I haven't finished my poem yet. The water here was just so peaceful and calming. Chest. I stopped for a moment and lost myself in admiring it. Wait, is that a fake chest or is that a real one? I need to go see. Well, since we're all here, why not head back with us to the venue for tonight's festivities? It's getting late after all. Huh? Are, are you sure? We can walk and talk. Perhaps the mingling of ideas will give rise to new inspiration. I'd personally like to hear Miss Callie Rowie's couplet. I'm sure I can learn something. <laughs> well, if you're all in agreement, I've got no reason not to join you. No! Why my chest? <laughs> My chest! <laughs> Woohoo! The first team is back, right on schedule! Huh? The others have yet to return? <laughs> Come on! Let's hurry! 
We're Xiao. Uh, uh, we... Oh, oh, we're not too late, are we? Just how far did you all go? <laughs> Everyone catch your breath. Come on, deep breaths. One, two. Now, don't panic. The party hasn't started yet. <sighs> we made it! Oh, Paimon's exhausted. Since when do you get tired from flying? Paimon gets tired if she has to fly too fast. Oh, not to mention dropping all those leaves. Paimon's hands are cramping up. Another, another Paimon, uh, another Paimon lore crumb. She gets tired if she flies too fast. Huh. Sounds like someone needs to exercise more. Or rather, the inner mechanisms of Paimon. She gets tired if she flies too fast. Huh? You guys picked up a new teammate while you were out? Indeed. This is Kelly Roe. I believe you'll remember her from yesterday, though you weren't introduced. Hi, everyone. Hello. But you're not the only ones who's called in reinforcements. <laughs> Look who we got! Wait. Yeah? <laughs> Where'd he go? Bro poofed. <laughs> it's... Nah, I'm good. <laughs> now that we've all regrouped, let's... Huh. Scratch that, looks like we're still waiting on my co-host. <laughs> they say roosters crow at first light, and finches go to bed at night. But Director Hu Tao's always on the ball. Anytime, anywhere, she'll answer your call. Okay, what if I'm in hell though? Are the theatrics really necessary? We're already on day two of the festival. The opening ceremony is over. <laughs> but my dear, dear Paimon, it seems you are not yet aware. That was not for my own sake, but for a special guest who's joining us today. <laughs> Director whose manner is as exuberant as ever. Oh my god. It always makes quite an impression. It's Mr. Shongli. <gasps> Oh boy! Now this is a surprise. Mr. Zhongli, I hope you are well. Xingqiu, what can you tell me about Mr. Zhongli? He seems like somebody very important. Yes, he's held in very high regard in Liyue Harbor. He's extremely erudite in many different domains of knowledge. Allow me to introduce you all to Zhongli, a consultant at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I didn't expect him to be here. <laughs> His expertise is limitless, stretching from the celestial orbs to the terrestrial ores, spanning modern and ancient culture, delving into literature both prosaic and poetic. He may be my subordinate, but he is certainly a qualified poetry expert. And so, we have invited him here tonight to judge the compositions. The director exaggerates. I am but vaguely acquainted with a few lines of classical poetry. Should you consider me to be remiss in my appraisal of your own compositions, please correct me. <laughs> Enough with the modesty already. If I didn't know better, I'd say you seemed nervous. Just focus on judging. <laughs> please rest assured that I shall rise to the occasion, director. Rise! Let me do a quick count. One, two, three. Rise! Great! Equal numbers on both sides. Huh? Are you counting me too? <laughs> Join us, it'll be fun. Okay, fine. But consider this a favor. Hmm, with our Fontaine friend present, perhaps we should rename this event to the Three Nations Congenial Poetry Gala. Also, I'm just noticing that Paimon should only count as a half teammate at most. Uh, damn. That kind of puts Team Traveler at a bit of a disadvantage. Don't worry, the Traveler counts as two. Well, how about this? I'll join in as well. Director Hotel, here to help out in your hour of greatest need. What does everyone think? Naturally, the more the merrier. Being the host of the festival shouldn't stop you from having the chance to enjoy it like the rest of us. Then, it's settled. Everyone else in the audience, feel free to join in too and support your favorite team. What about me? Shall I keep track of the score? No need for that. The teams are just a formality. We're all friends here, and this isn't intended to be competitive. But what do you think, Judge Zhongli? I concur, Director. I concur. Moreover, <laughs> it would be disingenuous to impose upon our friends from Mondstadt and Fontaine a competition in which they are judged on how rigorously they can adhere to Leo poetic conventions. Since this is a congenial poetry gala, 
Should we not begin with inspiration and finish with friendly conversation? The aim being for all participants to enjoy themselves. Oh, <sighs> that's a relief. I was so nervous about this, but it sounds like it's going to be pretty relaxed. Couldn't have asked for a better judge. Zhongli said everything I was supposed to say only far more eloquently. So, <laughs> without further ado, I shall pass the baton to Venti. There you go, Venti. No problem. Friends old and new, put on your thinking caps and take a deep breath of fresh air. The second stage of our poetry gala will now commence. Matching couplets. Two archons on the same stage. Surely they uh surely they know who each other who they who they both are. Perhaps I could break the ice with a humble contribution to inspire others to share their brilliance. Please listen to the first line in the couplet. <clears throat> Lounging in luxury inside a Shinue kiosk booth, delighting in countless contemporary tastes. What? He managed to think of one already? Oh, he seems like a real expert at this. Hmm, Shinue Kiosk. Should that be paired with Lily Pavilion? Or are they too similar for a couplet? Oh, this is pretty difficult. I forgot what the Shinue, Shinue Kiosk was. Shinue Kiosk. Contemporary Oh wait, no, tastes. is that, um... Hmm. Is that Xiangling's restaurant? I guess I should pair the modernity of their VIP dining experience with an emblem of the past. No, uh, is it? Wait, maybe I where I was training that one time. That was quite ancient. The weather was terrible that day. Okay, I got something. Surrounded by history, outside a Tianghong Pass pavilion, as lightning sets the boundless tenebrous skies ablaze. Damn. Wow, Chaoyun completed the couplet. Hmm. Xinyue Kiosk is a renowned modern restaurant, while the mountain pass of Tianhung is a prominent historical landmark. These two iconic locations form a complementary pair. The imagery also contrasts rather well between the two halves of the couplet, one half describing a leisurely and comfortable indoor scene, the other portraying a hazardous outdoor scenario where there is no protection from the elements. Huh? I was just describing what I experienced that day. <laughs> I guess I just got lucky. <laughs> All right then. I guess I'll start the next couplet. Mind pines for Mingyun. Flesh confined to Qingse. Spirit striding high on Zhu Yun's clouds. Oh, Chong Yun, you dark horse. Looks like you came to play today. This conjures the image of one with lofty aspirations, whose life is limited to a small town but who awaits the opportunity to one day ascend above the clouds. The use of various locations for their symbolism is quite novel indeed. Oh! Oh. Soul shines like jade stone, dressed in finest silkware, lucent heart still beats within me now. Oh, okay. Wow, how did Noel do that? A superb line. It employs the metaphor of precious stone to describe one of noble and moral character with a pure and clear heart. The symbolism in this case is centered around objects, truly the work of a skilled poet. That was a commendable couplet. Very nice, very nice. Thanks your guidance while we were out on our inspiration walk. I'd like to start the next couplet. Up into the misty karst, down among the grassy marsh, all for lotus seed and bird egg soup. Lotus seed and bird egg soup? What is it, Diona? Did you think of a second line for the couplet? Hmm, lotus seed and bird no. egg soup. Everyone's poems are so complicated. I need more time just to understand them. She just like me. But when I heard lotus seed and bird egg soup, it made me think of berry and mint burst. Maybe because I mixed a similar drink recently. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Got it. North beyond the Starfell Lake. South across the windswept plains, just for berries squeezed and mint infused. Okay, okay, they're getting a little more bold with giving him lines. Okay. No wonder everyone praises the traveler so highly. You answered so quickly. Both halves of this couplet require intimate knowledge of the terrain in question and the local plants that may be found there. The two of you are clearly both seasoned travelers. Does this mean I helped? Meow <laughs> 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 
You, you saved the day. Thanks, Diana. Hey now, Zhongli. Don't just praise everything you hear. You should question and press them a bit. Don't worry about upsetting anyone. After all, I'm here to take the heat. And allow me to try another. Qingxin has no heart. Still, it soothes the human heart. Hmm. Is she talking about the medicinal effects of Qingxin? Hmm. This is a hard one to match. Hmm. The Qing in part of the Qingqing... Qingqing... Oh my god. The... I'm not even gonna try it. It means heart, but the flower itself has no heart. Xiao <laughs> looking at that Xiao. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Uh, I've got it. Sweet dream is no dream, yet it nurtures people's dreams. Sweet dream. Does that really match? Hmm. Since the suitability of the match has been queried, I shall act according to the director's wishes and ask you. What is the link between Sweet Dream and Qingxin? Sweet Dream is a type of dessert. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, you mean eating a delicious dessert before bed will make you sleep well, right? <gasps> You're amazing. Actually, we sleep pre Actually, we sleep peacefully at night because Xiao is there to protect everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> <laughs> then I agree. The two halves of the couplet match. This point is well deserved. He's going back. He's going back to his bed to blush. <laughs> points for me. Points for thee. This judge gives out points for free. But if you ask me, everyone's being a little too conventional so far. Let's push the envelope a little. Go nuts. Oh, in that case. Why don't you finish this one for me, Hu Tao? Round moon in the heavens, full moon at night. Celebrate with circle of friends. Hmm. Oh, square meals in the basement. Big bowls of rice, decorate with cuboids of meat. Huh? W what the? Ah, we have ourselves a pedant's couplet. Pedant's couplet? What is that? The two halves have no thematic connection. Yet each word has its perfect parallel, Bruh. meaning the two halves do form a cohesive whole. Bruh. The strict pairings make this no easier to achieve than a thematically coherent couplet. Nah. Blah, 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 blah. So verbose. <laughs> Zhongli, just tell me if I got a point or not. Of course you did. I presumed it went without saying. Ahem. <clears throat> Through Cheongji, I walked a hundred miles. At Gweili, I ended my march. In Dihua, the silver grass grows in two styles, but horsetails don't trot out the marsh. From vendors, I bought some 15 steaks. At dinner, I sizzled the lots. At pressure, the tenderloin cooks in two ticks, but 15 won't fit in the pot. Huh? <laughs> it's just an unstoppable force versus an immovable object. <laughs> so that's a pedant's couplet. <laughs> that's her face. She can do that too. <laughs> Look at her face. Of one. Wolf hooks can't hook Baron Bunny. Ah, that's a cute couplet. Sweet flowers can't out sweet sister Barbara. What? What are you? Huh? We, we got a we got a Barbara fan. Who invited blood? <laughs> 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 Who invited this man? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Huh? <laughs> the passion we like to see although unfortunately your response was technically one word too long hmm in that case whopper flowers can't whop jumpy jumpy oh this monster has got talents <sighs> I'm so relieved I at least managed to get one hmm nestling by a roaring fire scent of tea wafts from the stove Reading through the heart of Clear Springs. <sighs> wow, Noelle came up with another one! Come on, match the couplet! Paimon knows you can do it! Why don't you try it, Paimon? Uh, do you really think Paimon has what it takes? Uh, match each word one by one and you'll be fine. Fine! Paimon will give it a whirl. 
nestling by a roaring fire, scent of tea wafts from the stove, reading through the heart of clear springs. Hmm. Uh, seething in the pouring rain, sword of pain swipes at my foe, beating up the eye of the storm. Great job. What? Really? Yes, very good. The image of challenging powerful foes in the harshest of conditions seemed to manifest before my eyes, and it was perfectly juxtaposed against the atmosphere of leisurely reading with a cup of freshly brewed tea. Really? <laughs> Maybe Paimon has a knack for this after all. <laughs> it appears that my services as a judge are no longer needed. <laughs> Okay. Kelly Roy? Miss Kelly Roy, are you okay? Kelly Roy. You look like you're getting tired. Uh, don't worry. I'm fine. But thanks for asking. Although, I do have a question I'd like to ask. Have all of you read Heart of Clear Springs? Uh, I feel like I have. I say that as if I've read all the books in Tevat, yet I pretty much just collect them and then never read them. <laughs> but I'll say I've read them. I haven't actually read it. My dad told me the story once. It's about a spring fairy and a young boy. Oh, yes. The story of a spring fairy who left her homeland and met a boy under the moonlight in a faraway land. The boy poured out his heart to her, and she listened to his stories. Over time, the boy grew up and began to develop feelings for the spring fairy. But the spring fairy didn't understand human love and was afraid that making a promise to him would ultimately end in tragedy. And so, uh, ooh, I don't know if Diana's father mentioned the part about the kiss to her. <laughs> in the end, the spring fairy left the boy and was never heard from again. Uh, okay. Oh, yes, that's it. Many years went by and the boy became an old man, but he never stopped believing that the fairy was real and not just a dream. Sounds like a tragic tale. So, what do you guys think of the spring fairy in the story? I'm sure she made her decision with the best of intentions, but the boy couldn't hope to understand why she left. It's a shame that the misunderstanding never got cleared up. Well, do you think she should go back and see that boy again, if she ever had another chance? Hmm. Now? But isn't he an old man by the end of the story? Well, you probably should before it's too late. Hmm. Isn't it a bit late? What if it just led to more regrets? Better late than never. Oh, sorry. No. Oh, maybe I'm being too pessimistic. If Paimon was that boy... Hmm. Actually, Paimon would definitely want to see the Spring Fairy again. No matter how old Paimon got. After all, she's the love of his life, right? True. I see. Oh? <laughs> Looks like the party's still going strong over here. Are you coming up with more couplets? Need my help? Stick to hosting, Tone Deaf Board. <laughs> if you get involved, you only match every couplet yourself and not leave any for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? I never knew you had such a high opinion of my abilities, Paimon. But the couplet games are all over now. Tomorrow's theme is freestyle poetry. Do we have to share our own poems with everyone? That's right. If you're not feeling confident, don't worry. It's never too late to register for Venti's Poetry Cram class. I'll sign up. Oh boy. Oh, me too. Hold on there, Buster. Before you start peddling your classes, just help 
much freedom is there with this freestyle poetry exactly? Aren't there any requirements at all? One, water, one wine bottle per sign up. It's as free as the winds that blow. And there's nothing freer. There are no limits to genre, form, content, or anything else. So long as it comes from the heart, you're welcome to put it into poetry. Give it a try. There's no better chance to express your innermost thoughts. Whoa. That's almost too much freedom. Paimon can't decide which way to go. Our travels? Or maybe all the food that the travelers cooked for Paimon. There's never too much freedom in a sweet old... There's never too much freedom in a good old USA. Will you come too, Kelly Roy? Yeah, yeah. Paimon wants to see what you write. Oh, um, yes. I'll be there. Ugh. Ugh. My nose is starting to itch again. All right, I shall leave you to privately ponder your poems and bid you all good night. See you tomorrow. Ew. Ooh Ooh you asked for it. Nyong. Land of the free. Ah, that was a refreshing sleep. Let's go to the venue. Per yawns. I was really looking forward to hearing everyone's poems. Per yawns could break the sound barrier, I swear. few people short today. Morning, friends. Sing Cho said he wants to take some time and focus on writing poems, so he'll join us later. Noelle has other duties today, so she asked me to tell everyone not to wait up for her. Okay, well, never mind. What about Kelly Roy, though? She said she'd be here. I got here really early, but I haven't seen her yet. Are you talking about the girl with the blue hair? I saw her on the bridge near Dihua Marsh during my morning training. She looked a little upset, so I didn't want to disturb her. Upset? Oh no, what should we do? Was it something we said last night? Oh, Paimon's worried. We should go find her. I agree. If she's run into some kind of trouble, I'd like to help her. Huh? You're all going? Then I'm coming too. Shall we start with the bridge? We're all here a little early, so there should be time. Good idea. We'll be back in a jiffy. Why are there lizards zooming in the background? This place is just infested with lizards. And also probably because I have Sayu at my party, so they don't get scared ever. It's cute. It adds to the atmosphere. Behold! Too slow. Huh. Oh, so this is the place? We ran into her here yesterday, too. She looked like something was weighing on her mind then as well. It's also not far from where we were dropping those leaves. Huh. Leaves? Oh, right. We were so busy matching couplets, we forgot to mention. Yeah, what about that? We, f we completely forgot about that point. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder... Could Miss Callie Roy have been the one who wrote that poem on the leaf? Hmm? What makes you say that? Oh, sorry. Uh, nothing. Well, uh, nothing concrete. Uh, just a hunch, I guess. It's just... That poem on the leaf kind of gave me the same feeling as when I saw her yesterday. So much sadness. Mm. Now that you mention it, this is upstream from where we found the poem. Huh? <laughs> She's so lost. Hey, look! Over there! Another leaf! <gasps> Another one! Wow, you're right! And this one has writing on it too! After that leaf! Don't forget the chest. Oh yeah, you're right. I see it. Give me my chest. I don't give a fuck about the leaf. Give me my chest. Wait.
All unclaimed articles should be turned in. So, neither of us saw... Squall and Fury! Where to leave? Oh, why does it have to float so quickly? <laughs> Can't you fly, Paimon? You could literally fly over to it. Behold. We've literally seen you fly like 15 miles an hour. Can't you just fly over and grab it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Oh my god, you have literally been underwater with us. <laughs> you have been underwater and talked underwater with us. You cannot be serious. Squall and Fury. Glug, glug, glug. It stopped. No! Grab that leaf. Yoink. Whew. We finally caught it. Are the words still legible? Or have they been washed out? Looks like the ink's intact. Let Paimon take a look at what it says. The desire remains, but the time is past. The boy by the spring grows frail too fast. But when dreams flow to fruition, where streams join the sea, we'll journey on an endless reverie. Reverie. Reverie, re, 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 reverie or reverie? Hmm. I'm going to guess reverie because C it has to rhyme with C, right? Huh? This is related to the poem we wrote in reply yesterday. She must have picked up one of our leaves. Reverie, yeah. Spring. Young boy. Hmm. It's looking a lot like Callie Roy was the one who wrote this. She seems to care a lot about that story, huh? Actually, when Paimon first saw her, Paimon was wondering, do you think... is it possible that... she's... uh... Yeah, even she knows. Let's just focus on finding her first. Based on the current and accounting That's what I'm guessing. wind strength, everyone, please follow me. That's what I was guessing. So she, so she might actually be a Hydro Eidolon. This should be far enough upstream. Let's split up and search the area. Kelly Rui! Kelly Rui! You guys want to see how many books I have for I've collected for uh, uh, Risley? Risley, look, look how many I have for him. <laughs> I have 42. I have enough to crown at least his normal attacks and then get his E to level nine. Don't know about this one though. To work on that. I could actually probably spend a little bit more resin today. Stop that. It's gonna get a little chilly. Oh. Uh-oh, I think she turned into a Hydra Idol. Uh, what's that? Yeah, she did. I <laughs> told you. <laughs> Am I planning to triple crown him? No. Uh, it's a huge water droplet. This is exactly what I saw the other day. And that's what I knew. I knew it. I told you it was a Hydra Idol. I knew it was going to be a Hydra Idol. Callie Roy? Huh? Why are you all looking at me like that? Oh, no. My body, is it? That voice is definitely Kelly Roy's. Uh, how did this happen? Uh, please wait a moment. <laughs> oh, no. 
Did I use up too much energy? How did you... What's going on here? Miss Callie Roe, are you some kind of adeptus? No. I'm so sorry for deceiving you all for so long. Actually, I'm an Oceanid who flowed here from Fontaine long ago. Yeah. What's an Oceanid? Ah, the Grandmaster has mentioned them before. The Oceanids were the familiars of the former Hydro Archon. Uh, they all fled Fontaine after the Archon died and uh, settled across the world. That's correct. Though, to tell you the truth, I can't even completely recall how I found myself here. I have a vague impression of my ancestral home, but I can't recall clearly anything I saw on my journey. All I know is that by the time I arrived in Mondstadt, I had lost most of my power and couldn't even sustain a physical form. Eventually, I settled in a place called Springvale, where I slowly began to regain my power. Hmm. Springvale is a serene and beautiful place. The water that flows through there is clear and pure, just like the hearts of the people who dwell there. That reminds me of a certain event. So you're the Spring Fairy of Springvale? Yeah. Yes, Diona. And I remember you too, you know. When you were little, you often came to the spring at night to speak with me. Really? You're not messing with me, are you? I... Oh, I always thought that was just a local legend. Your favorite little pillow, the fish one? Its name is Bubbles, is it not? <laughs> Bubbles, aww. Uh, yep! All those childhood memories. So they weren't just a dream. So, if this is true, then all those things written on the leaves... The moonlight flows like silk and honey. The boy by the spring grows old and frail. I see. So you were the ones who found my leaf. Well, you are correct. The spring fairy and heart of clear springs is me. Huh, so we get an answer for that. No wonder you were asking us so many questions about it. So, the boy from the story... Is Finch. Huh. I always loved listening to people's dreams. And still do, to this day. Whether they're beautiful, sad, or filled with emotions I couldn't understand at the time. One night, a little boy came to the spring. The tears that fell from his face were more fragile than a moonbeam, and purer than the morning dew. I like humans, and wanted to understand them better. I also wanted to make sense of the feelings contained in his tears that were, then... A mystery to me. And so you became friends. Yes. We often met under the stars, sharing our stories with one another. Sometimes, we'd stay up all night and see who would hear the first bird chirping from the boughs, or the first cicada of summer. Aww, that sounds lovely. That's cute. But one day, just like the book says, I saw an emotion in Finch's eyes that I couldn't reciprocate. I felt out of my depth, in uncharted waters. But I knew all too well that we lock folk face a very different fate from that of humans. Whatever was happening, I didn't want it to lead to Finch writing a chapter of his life that he would later come to regret. Damn. So, I fled and never appeared before him again. Damn, bro got ghosted. Oh. Oh, Kelly Roy. Damn. Hello, Toria. My strength returns very slowly. And even after decades, I can only sustain a physical form for a very short time. I once hoped that Finch would be able to move on and meet me when the stars in the night sky have all gone out. But after seeing so many people's stories, and hearing about all their dreams, I have gradually come to understand Finch's heart. This feeling of wanting to respond to his feelings is surging relentlessly in my chest, and I can no longer restrain it. But I'm also scared. Scared that if I go and see him now, I'll bring nothing but disappointment, and even more pain when it comes time to part. Trust me, that bro still probably thinks about you from time to time in his sleep. Trust. <laughs> Trust. It really is a difficult choice. Mm. Please go see him. Huh? 
Tell him, Mika. I know Grandpa Finch, and he's a really kind person. When I was struggling to learn how to draw maps, he was always encouraging me, telling me not to give up, always keep trying, and get out there and have some adventures. He often tells me stories about his past, but I've never once seen a look of regret or sadness in his face. And even though Grandpa Finch loves adventures, he still stands there by the spring, every day, as if he's waiting for something. I believe that he's serious about his feelings for you, Miss Callie Roy. He's never stopped hoping that he'll see you again one day. So if you want to see him too, then what are you waiting for? Yeah! Yeah, do it! That was great. Didn't know you had any, Mika. Huh? Uh, I... I... Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit too excited and... And I just thought... <laughs> well, it just sort of came out. <laughs> no need to apologize. I understand. That settles it. I've decided. I will go back and see Finch. Go get a girl. You will? You're amazing. That's great. But I'd like to ask all of you for some help. Also, I've just noticed everyone here is cryo. Well, everyone besides, you know, the traveler, but. Sure. Just say the word. We'll help you any way we can. Would you come to spring and Kelly Roy. with me and help to bring Finch to my side? I cannot maintain this form for much longer. And I'm worried others will see me how I was just before. Leave it to me. I'm really close with Grandpa Finch. Also, please keep Finch's in my secret. I wouldn't want Springvale's tranquil waters to become agitated on account of all this. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> That's a promise. Great. I can't thank you all enough. Uh... What's wrong? Are you going to turn back into a water droplet? No, I'm sorry. It's just that my mind's racing. As much as I want to talk to him again, I'm still worried that I won't have the words when the time comes. Write him a poem. A poem? Yeah. All the things you hide deep inside your heart. Everything you've never had the chance to say. Hmm. Okay. Good idea. I'll write him a poem. And it will be called... Heart of Clear Springs. Nice. You don't know if it's just you? Is there something between Mika and Noel, or is Mika just really that awkward person? He's just an awkward ass person. <laughs> He's just a very awkward dude. Both him and Noel. Are you okay? It's nothing. I'm just scared that I won't be able to maintain this form much longer. Okay, don't panic. Wait here, Callie Roy. I'll go fetch Grandpa Finch. Take it slow, Diona. Finch isn't a young man anymore. He's not as steady on his feet. I can still hold on a bit longer. Okay, stay strong. You got you it. You got it. it. Wait, give me a second. Slash is awake. Wanna say hi? I'm almost done. I'm not. I'm only just streaming a uh, word of advice. Event don't break the law. Off. Right. So I only Anything have else? like uh, what? Yes. Two hours left. Yeah. Seriously. 
Don't break the law. Now, how are you holding up? Would you like some support, Miss Calliroy? You can also lean on Paimon if you need. Thank you, all of you. You still kind of said how the event ends? I hope it's not a bad ending. Surely this guy doesn't like die in front of her or something. He just like passes away from old age. Uh, is that Diona? You're back early today. Today is your special day, Grandpa Finch. Can you come with me? Oh? Well, where are we going? Over there, to the waterfall. <laughs> Did you catch a nice little fishy? Uh, just come with me already. This is extremely important. But I promised your father that I'd go to... Th this is more important than anything. Grandpa Finch! All right. <laughs> All right. No need to get worked up. I'm right behind you. That's more like it. Now come on. I'll help you. <laughs> oh, Draft's daughter is just like him when she's on a mission. <laughs> Draft the background. <laughs> What happens when Ryze plunges, plunges in water? Does he freeze it? Nah, he just goes straight through. Over here! Over here! It's okay, Grandpa Finch. Take your time. Uh, what's all this? What are all these people doing here? Even Mika's here? <laughs> How's work been going lately? And even some friends from abroad, if I'm not mistaken. You do know that today's not my birthday, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Finch. My name is Chong Yoon. We all met at the Poetry Gala, and... Well, there's someone we'd like to introduce you to. Finch. <gasps> that voice. Kelly Roy. Dang, after all this time, who remembers? I didn't think you'd still remember. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember all right. How could I ever forget? Damn. Although your appearance is different than I recall, back then you looked like you'd stepped right out of a fairy tale. <laughs> But I'm one to talk. Of course a fairy from a fairy tale can change forms. But in your eyes, I'm probably the one who's changed beyond all recognition. <laughs> oh, even after Aww. all these years, you still know just what to say to make me laugh. I thought you were only able to appear in the dead of night. There have been times when I've wondered whether it really was all a dream. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long, Finch. Oh, it can't have been that long. It's been but the blink of an eye, really. Finch, would you like to hear a poem I wrote for you? A poem? You write poetry now? Well, of course. I'd be delighted to listen. I'll hang on every word that leaves your lips. Damn, this guy's a smooth talker too. In that case, let me read you a story about the spring fairy. This guy smooth with it. Far from my native land I roamed. In streams I slept, many seasons I met as the sun set and rose. I searched for a garden to call a home, and the moonlight ebbed as the water flowed. A soft breeze beckoned me unto a spring. Sleep, weary wanderer, your journey is over. May the dancing petals sweeten your slumber. At dawn, I hummed the melody of a distant stream. It's beautiful. 
and the songs in the night serenaded my dreams. It's gorgeous. A boy's tender tears trembled through the water, stirring me more than any starlight sonata. He wove me a wreath from past petals and future buds. I crossed beyond the veil of dreams to the realm of flesh and blood. Look at the love that shines from his eager gaze. Answer the call of his heart, lest this moment go to waste. The kittens and fireflies invited my heartstrings to sing. But I was a stranger to the melody of mankind, and knew not how this tune should begin. As the river of dreams trickled into the ocean blue, every time a crystal fly flapped its wings, older it seemed he grew. But I Look at learned this art. in human ways each stumbling step I took, and clouds of confusion became crystal clear in the vulnerable verse I wrote. As seed yearns for soil and trees for the sun, a once foreign melody inside my heart sung, and it cried out your name on every string it could strum. Shit is crazy. Now, I give my dream to you. May it be in your slumber a sweet spring to quench your thirst. Now, I hand my heart to you, praying my belated promise might meet still with your trust. Damn, they kind of popped off with that art and music. What the fuck? <laughs> they popped the fuck off with that. What the? <laughs> ads? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for the ads to go. They popped off. Damn. That was crazy. I actually like that art a lot. What the fuck? <clears throat> it's always in the event that they that they always like pop off with the arts too it's actually it's actually fun it's very fun it does give you a reason to play the events for sure i like to see the art during the ending scenes Yes. <laughs> this is how I remember you from when we first met. All those years ago. <sighs> it really has been a long, old time, hasn't it? Finch, I... It's okay. I understand. Your poem, it... It explains everything. Thank you, Finch. <laughs> Please, take this. Oh. It's so beautiful. This is a droplet of water condensed from my own power. Finch, I don't have a physical form like humans, and I can't stay by your side. I don't know how long it'll be before I can change back into human form again. But as long as this droplet remains with you, our hearts will always be connected, no matter the distance between us. Damn. I will always be one with the spring. From this day onwards, if you call me, I will meet you in your dreams. It's bittersweet. <clears throat> it's very bittersweet. Oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> You've really learned a lot, haven't you? And you don't even mind that the kids are watching. Does it bother you? How could it possibly? This is the happiest moment of my life. I just worry that once I go to sleep, I won't ever want to wake up again. <laughs> Damn. Huh? Don't say that. <laughs> He's got a way with I'm words. I'm only joking. <sighs> it seems that you still have much to learn. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> Is that right? 
<laughs> Grandpa Finch and Kelly Rowe look so happy. Oh, what a perfect moment. <laughs> she was having fun voicing this event. Diona, thank you for fetching Finch for me. I've never forgotten you either. I used to chat with you a lot. Wasn't it ever annoying? <laughs> of course not. You are one of the truest friends I have in the entire world. That's why I gave you your gift, so that a part of me could always be with you. Huh? Wait. Oh! So is Diona's ability to mix delicious drinks from disgusting ingredients a blessing from this water spirit? Wait, really? Really? Oh my... You're... Let me save it. And if so... Is it also possible that my pure Yang spirit is a gift from some being? <laughs> my physical form is about to disappear. Finch. Yes? I've never regretted meeting you or deciding to talk to you that night. Not once. All these long years. Not for a single moment. <laughs> it probably goes without saying, but neither have I. Although it was different from in the stories. That fateful night, I never gave you that kiss. This gift that represents my promise and my love. <laughs> I give it to you now. <laughs> it's a pama, close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> it's okay, everyone. She's gone now. What? But Paimon didn't get a chance to say goodbye. I didn't even get to see the kiss either. What the hell? Grandpa Finch. Don't worry now. She hasn't gone far. Just like she said, she'll always be one with the spring. By our side and in our dreams. They put another fucking lore of an important, an actual character in the story in an event. Again, again, they did it again. Why do they do this? Why do they do this? Why do they always do this, man? Oh? Hey, you're all back! And it looks like you're in much better spirits than before. Hutao's a step ahead. She's already talking about printing a poetry anthology. She said she can't wait for everyone's final words because I'm itching to pull the trigger. By which I assume she meant she eagerly anticipates receiving everyone's freestyle poetry submissions to help her close the deal. <laughs> Where have you all been? Bruh. I've been waiting here forever. Perhaps they lacked sufficient inspiration and wished to have an emergency communion with nature. And with any luck, I'll bet they heard some fine poetry along the way. Come death bard! And <laughs> Paimon, <laughs> we promised. Oh, uh, right from the start, you said you would treat us to a nice meal. Huh? Uh, did I? I think this is worth a meal. <laughs> Very well. Since the traveler agrees, then it looks like I can't just keep this time. Diona, dear Diona, could I trouble you to fix us a couple of your delicious beverages? Huh, you wish. All right. Well, normally I'd never agree, but since I happen to be in a good mood today... Huh? So, just what have you guys been up to all this time? Why does it feel like there are some unspoken words hanging in the air here that everyone <laughs> is privy to but myself? He's actually clueless. Really? Must be the breeze. You're reading way too much into it. <laughs> y yeah, yeah! That's right. We're just, uh, taking a walk. Uh, inspiration walk, since it worked so well last time. 
Hmm. So even Mika's in on it? Uh oh. Chong Yoon, how about you tell me what happened on the sly? I've just remembered that I heard about a haunted house recently that you'll definitely want to check out. I'm willing to bet that even your pure Yang spirit won't be able to scare off these demons. I appreciate the gesture, but no thanks. <laughs> and I'm starting to think that maybe this pure Yang spirit isn't such a bad thing after all. Aww. Huh? What the? What's gotten into you? <laughs> okay, that confirms it. I call shenanigans. Something big definitely went down here. <laughs> Clueless. Bro. <laughs> Venti always knowing the sussiest Archon. So he knew about all of it from the very beginning and we just never knew. Or he just kept it a secret. Bro. They really just keep doing that shit with these events. They just keep putting out like the like so it's not like that big of a lore bomb, but it's still pretty important to a to a character in the game, you know? People who actually enjoy playing playing Diona probably would love uh, Diona and Chong Yun would probably love to know that. You know? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, huh? They just keep doing that shit. Okay, Hoyaverse. I see I see you I see how you want people to keep playing your events. You're just gonna keep doing that shit, huh? Okay, you can talk to a few characters after the event finishes in different places. Okay, where? Where? I'm gonna need to know now. Mikali Roy, Hu Tao, and Xiao. Um, I'm guessing Xiao is probably at Wang Shu In. Kali Roy is at the spring. Mm -hmm. And Pervasi's temple. Wait. Let's go to Pervasi's temple first. I actually have, I feel like Xiao is probably there. Check inside. Not the temple. Go inside the temple after talking to Zhao. He's next to the teleport. Oh, there he is. He, he's, he's blending in with the background. Sorry, I couldn't see him. It's you. Uh, I thought about what you said and tried to write a poem. After putting my feelings onto paper, my heart feels much calmer. Aww. Can they really hear it? Aww. The Traveler has so much- he, he thinks about- The Traveler has so much influence on him, you can tell. He really does like the Traveler. Need to collect more information. Oh, this is a poem we placed. A thousand years vicissitudes, one's form never aging. Grace never forgotten, the fire yet burning. Mountains climb high and waters run deep. Strange fate indeed to once more meet. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Xiao is, uh, Xiao is very cute. Hu Tao is at the leeway teleport at the bottom. Okay. Ah, it's raining? Ah, that's alright. The real problem would be if we could feel water dripping on our heads in the fortress of Meripede. Let's go find, uh... Let's go find this girl over here, though. Monko. Ew. 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 
Why'd I gotta be a thunderstorm right now? Do I have to go back? Wait, near the end of the teleport? Wait, where? Next to the teleport in Springville? Is it this one or this one? This one? Bottom? This ring will be. That's so nice. You need more home Genshin songs? She was going off with that. She hit them notes. That's very nice. Very cute. It's so bittersweet, but it's also, it's just so cute. It's so cute. Where's the, uh, where's the polling VOD? It's, um, it's coming soon. I just haven't been able to up upload VODs yet. I've been busy. Uh, okay. Who towers at the leeway teleporter? The bottom one? This one? Near the granny that sells toys. Hello, who tow? Now then. Didn't you say you wanted to publish a book? Yes, I do. So, where's the book? It's in the works. Just waiting on the poems. And where are the poems? They're on the way. <coughs> Look, I'm sorry, Director Who, but how do you expect me to talk business with you when you don't even have the poems yet? I just figured while we're waiting, we could discuss terms in advance. <laughs> Business. Well, I need to see the content to decide if I even want to sell it, let alone how much to sell it for. Oh, come on. I showed you a sample already, and it was some of my finest work. Besides, you only need a few highlights to sell an anthology. You think your poem, 15 Tenderloin Steaks, will carry the whole book, do you? Yes. That and square meals in the basement. <coughs> My consultant, the erudite Mr. Zhongli, described it as a meticulous masterpiece. Nah. Oh, put that on the cover. It'll practically sell itself. Nah. Director, we're a small business. If we invest money in printing and nobody buys it, it's my bottom line that's affected. I'll buy it. Don't you worry. I guarantee you when this anthology comes out, it will take the world by storm. Gods and ghosts alike will weep. As a matter of fact, I heard a ghost crying on the way here. If you don't believe me, I can bring it over. There'll be no need for that. <laughs> I'll buy it. I'll be the first one to buy. She made this event to publish a book and make money. <laughs> Business is booming. <laughs> what a businesswoman. Alright, well. Oh yeah, I need to do the, um... So I've got this. Now we got to do the, the table site entertainment ones. Dropping all the text. Where's the text? Huh, oh, that's weird. What I think of the event? I think it was really nice. The story was funny. The story was funny. It was short and bittersweet. BTW blah app since it's almost been three years since I started playing Genshin. I want to say I've always appreciated your content since the beginning. Keep at it, King. Thank you, the loyal bro, for the hundred bits. Thank you. 
I'm glad you've always appreciated my content. I'm always here. I'm always here working on stuff. And I'll be here for quite a while. At least I, I, I plan to. So do not worry. It'd be too difficult. What are you doing? I'm setting up the game for, I'm responsible for 100 pace hurling rights. You want me to chuck a bunch of rights? You want, you want me condu to conduct a bunch of rights to chuck things long distances? Very perceptive. We got a half right. We revolve around throwing, but that's not what rights means here. Learn about this game from an ancient book. Let me briefly walk through it. Uh, all participants in the game must be sitting down as part of the right. You must adopt, also adopt a special sitting posture, which I will not demonstrate for you at this time. From the sitting, from the sitting position, the participants must follow the music's rhythms and throw the darts into the distant pots. Okay. Sounds like darts. While sitting. The handle of the pot is called piercing. It's very complicated. No way to remember. Huh. Remembering this is his job. Uh, okay. Okay. Players can throw darts, hitting the, hitting any spots on the holding pots will award points, holding the throwing button, holding the throw button will allow you to aim, release to throw the dart. Hit as many holding pots as you can within the time limit to score points. The challenge will end once the time is up or there are no more pots left on the field. Okay. Seems easy enough. Sure. Oh. I'm doing this solo. Okay, this is a, the blue ones are ordinary pots which were 25 points. Slate pots are special holding pots created by the organizer that will award 25 points when hits, uh, or slight pots rather. For a short time after, you can fire off multiple darts consecutively while holding the throw button. The ring of rights is a special item created by the organizer. If thrown darts pass through the ring to hit a holding pot, the score gain will be doubled. The ring will disappear after appearing hmm, for a while. Okay. It just spawns out of my body. <laughs> How far can this go? It doesn't go that far, actually. Aren't I supposed to be, like, sitting, though? Oh wait, you're supposed to do like this. Pew. Wait, let me get that. Let me get that one. What? I missed. Fifty seconds. Okay. Do you have to get like uh I see, I see. Quaker pots are holding spe are special holding pots created by the organizer that will award twenty points when hit. These pots will explode when hit, destroying all holding pots in the fixed area. Okay. It's a bomb. Agile pots are special holding pots uh, that will move between two points and award 60 points when hit. So they move fast, I, I see. <clears throat> Beam of blocking will block. Okay. Got it. Pew. Nice. Nice. Got him. Fuck. 
Got him. Pew. Hit this one. You probably don't even have to hold for this, for the ones up here. You just like tap. Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to exit. Oh shit. Are you coughing too loud? No, I don't hear it. I don't hear you. You're fine, baby. Consuming pots are special holding pots. Da -da -da -da. It will constantly move and when in motion, it will touch other holding pots and store them within themselves. Th they will not grant you any points. A consuming pot needs to be hit multiple times because it be con to be destroyed. We hit three times. Each hit will reward five points. Each time it shrinks, you will gain 20 points, and destroying it will just give you 100. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Fuck. Dang, y'all see how many I hit there? I could have waited and like hit a shit ton of them though. Uh oh, come on. Got him. Well, I, I clicked exit again, man. This is not too bad. Hiding pots, uh, hiding pots will change positions whenever they are hit. It must be three hit three times to be fully destroyed. First it will reward 20, second 30, third 40. Okay. One. I wonder how chaotic it is doing it on uh, co-op. Get as many as you can. Okay, got it. You know what I really miss? I really miss the the original uh like the original bow and arrow event. Like that event was so fun.
Não vou. No, you missed. Nice. Oh no! I'm quick with this. the highest someone's gotten there's definitely some trier that's probably got like 10k or some shit with some sort of strategy really catch my streams but you also want to say you've been watching my content since february 2021 and my videos always make you happy i'm glad that makes me very happy to hear I'm glad some people still stick around. Wait. Ballad of the Boundless Blue. It's an energy recharge catalyst. Six seconds after six after normal charge attacks, an opponent normal. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. From the original Wimbledon event, unlocking core memories that are our friends. Man, I, I miss that Amber event. Not, not Well, not Amber event, but like that, that original balloon popping event. Is the poetry writing event? Let me, let me look at this. When the challenge begins, characters who defeat opponents within the myth within the mythic domains uh, will obtain inspiring crystal stacks. Inspiring crystals will rupture every once every forty seconds. When they rupture, they will unleash a shock wave within a fixed AOE that deals immense damage, based on the number of inspiring crystal stacks on the the current on field character has. The shock wave's damage will decrease further from the epicenter. Wait. Oh, okay, I see. While the inspiring crystals are waiting to rupture, Mythic Nexus will appear within the domain. Such foes will be very tough and hard to defeat. Skilled the use of inspiring crystals waiting to rupture may aid you in defeating these opponents with ease. Okay. After they rupture, if the Mythic Nexus has already been has already been defeated, they will once again start to stack. If the Mythic Nexus has not yet been defeated, the crystals will not begin to stack again. But the Nexus will be weakened and no other opponents will spawn until it is defeated. After that, yeah, crystals start to stack again. And various kinds will spawn once more. So many words. Just punch, just, just, just beat shit up. Basically. Oh my god, that's a lot of... Okay, well. Um, seems like it's a bit of a... Uh, Kazuha and Venti thing. This one. Seems to be a whole lot of mm. actually okay. Maybe not venti. Sucrose probably better. 
Sorry, sorry. But... Kazuo is better at pulling shit in for some reason. Frozen vaporized or electrocharged? Oh. <laughs> Wait, I should have been doing. Uh. It was frozen vaporized or electrocharged? Okay, wait. Hold on, then. Frozen, vaporized, or electrocharged? I have an idea. We're Benny. We're Benny boy. He's a four star. Why can't I find him? There he is. Ow. Rain outlines your fate. Witness the power of Kuwa. I'm going in. As one with wind and cloud. One with nature. And where though? A moment, please. They're all so far apart, man. Stay cool. Face They're literally all so far apart. Let me leave you a verse. Body and mind. Huh? Huh. Everybody stand back. Let's light it up. The clouds high. The birds call. Let's begin. Come here. Witness the power of Gugwa. I'm going in. The wind knows me. The fallen leaves adorn my night. I didn't really need a re. I didn't really need Rizzly here, did I? Get a little chilly. Nice. Teamwork is dreamwork. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your fate. No, my sword. Yeah. Don't run away now. I could do this better, I feel. Those words are very dangerous to hear, though. Let me leave you a verse. Everybody stand back. Let's begin. Here, I want to try that again. Let me try that again. What if? Instead, we bring in Sayu and just roll around the arena. Get rid of that. Hmm, I wonder. I mean, Scaramouche could also work, though, as well. Because he's more long-ranged. So, here. Let's see. Uh, buh. Frozen, vaporized, or electrocharged? Wait, what if? No. Mm. I 
I think this is fine. Fuck it. Fuck it, whatever. Doesn't matter. I just want to do it just a tiny bit faster, that's about it. Witness the power of good work. Let me weave you a verse. As you wish, main Fräulein. Truth repeats its course. Ow. The wind rises. Upon the gale. By royal decree, have fun with this gift. Too late for regret. Ring cutter. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Ears of the storm. Dare to mess with me? Let me weave you a verse. Know my sword. Huh? Oh my no. Oh, I didn't get it to in time. Oh shit. So we're fine. It's we're still fine. Know your place. No rest. This is a very calming music for like a slaughter fest. Truth repeats its course. We'll see about that. Upon the gale. Midnight Phantasmagor! Let me weave you a verse. Know my sword. Yes. Huh? Huh. Here's a very calming music. <laughs> oh, you only need 2k points for it? Oh, that's not that's not that bad. Normal care no material the characters no what the fuck? When a character's normal charge of plunging attacks hit an opponent, they will unleash a random pyro such as electro shockwave at the opponent's location. Okay. I know what I could use. I'm using Risley. What's the team I usually use for him? It's Risley, duh. Oh, yeah. Kazuha. This is my favorite team to use for him. Falling leaves adorn my night. The wind knows me. Let's get it on. A more, please. I'm going in. Into the wind. One with wind and cloud. Ow. Ow. Relax. Oops. Bruh. Everybody stand back. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. The wind knows me. Buckle up. Let's begin. The best part about about uh, Risley is that you. I feel like I never had to use his burst. Ow. 
like he already does so much damage it it, it doesn't really like ever feel necessary to use his burst it's very nice When a character triggers swirl on opponent, okay. Swirl in here. What if? I may not have the most meta characters, but every one that I have feels very fun to play. Rain outlines your fate. The wind rises. Bow your head. Germinate. Witness the power. Stand with me. Out of my way. Squall and fury. Yeah, everyone that I have feels so fun to play. I will say that, or at least most most of the people that I have in in my inventory are always so fun to play. I just love playing fun characters in Genshin. Character defeats an opponent and Shockwave will be unleashed, okay. Dealing dendro damage. Oh shit, okay. Hmm. I have an idea. Hello, Mr. Strimmer. <laughs> Hello, Oki Taikcho. Welcome back for the 28 months. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Your penance is due. He stay condemned. Guilty. Your penance is due. Ooh, ow. Our bond is strong. I'll settle this. Wings of darkness. Can't handle your dream. Nowhere to run. Judgment is upon you. You stay condemned. Guilty. Diana special. 
think you can bully me? Stand with me. Odds reveal that lightning terrified. Zuta, through me, justice is served. <laughs> Oh my god, it didn't die. Oh shit. Guilty. That's not good. By royal just look at you. Slow down. Scratch. Dispatch. Surrender. Your sins weigh upon your soul. He's taken dead. Guilty. Your penance is due. Odds reveal a bond is strong. Now that you're free, where did that come from? Take it and nowhere to run. Through me, justice is served. He's stay condemned. Your penance is due. Yeah, everyone still feels fun. Even though they're all not the best, you know, they're not top tier. They're still super fun to play. Hello, Great Ninja. Welcome. We're just finishing up the event. I'm on the uh, the last mini game. That way now. Water. Last minute run, yeah. Been procrastinating this a bit too long this time. <laughs> too fucking long, dog. I should really stop procrastinating these events, man. Why do I do this to myself? One day they're gonna have an they're gonna have a quest that's time gated, and I'm just gonna screw myself over. You haven't done the event yet. Nah, y'all gotta get to it. At this point, you just gotta skip through everything. You just gotta skip through everything at this point. You play this event using your Xbox 360 controller and the darts one was hell. <laughs> yeah, how was this event for like mobile users actually? All right, this is just yapping. There's a whole lot of yapping. Oh my god, it's this one. Oh shit. Oh my god. It's the one where you have to match up the pictures with the scenery. Uh-oh. We will have two to three missing scenery objects while attempting to record them. You may have to adjust your viewing angle multiple times. Once all the objects have been recorded, the, pic the current picture will have its missing detail completely filled in.
this one. Let me see. Fuck me. Um. Yeah, I know. I know. Just let me. There we go. And then. There we go. the free weapon for your weapon collection so you asked your friend to do it because you play can't play against you right now <laughs> i don't got anyone to do my genshin stuff for me one is at up here you'll do it maybe i have to do i would i would end up doing yours you haven't played genshin in how long <laughs> how long has it been how long has it been since you've played genshin baby wow i mean you could do them <laughs> This one, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you want to do my Genshin events for me, baby? I'm gonna need you to stream them too, so I could put them on the VOD channel. Quit following me. Uh, which one? This one. The night call is hitting. Uh oh. Wow. Rocks over here. This is the little well. And then it's this mountain thing over here. 
Easy. Okay, this actually isn't that bad. This actually is not that bad as I thought it would be. This is real content? True. This is the speedrun content. No? Oh wait, it is. Ah. Uh, this one? This one should be that. Nice. You just lost a Chi Chi? No! Not the Chi Chi. <laughs> it's a rainbow. What the heck? It's this picture, though. Last one. Wait, hold on. Swarm Fury. There's an emergency quest over here. You're currently being tortured by the weapon banner? Uh oh. Behold. How many primo gems deep are you? Your first Chi Chi in your account, your second 50 50 loss, tragic. I'm still waiting to get a D here. Another D here. The stairs. Nice. There's one more. <clears throat> you almost max a sumo retreat from rapid attempt at exploration because you're free to play? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, don't worry. Surely, uh, when the, uh... You'll get you'll get a couple more primo gems when the live stream comes. Surely. There's a rainbow. A cute rainbow. Uh won't you in? That's cute. I like that one. Am I liking the event so far? I think it was really nice. The story was very bittersweet at the end. And they definitely did give a... I'm a little... Again, I'm a little upset that they keep giving big lore drops in the in like limited time events, but it was still very very nice. 
to play through. Imagine if this game didn't have as big of a YouTube community and it was like a little bit more of an obscure game and people didn't like record all the events. I feel like some of these like lore bumps would be lost to time. No. Uh, oh, was this one? And this one. This last one. Believe it or not, you already lost twice trying to get cash flow supervision, so you have a lot of regrets. Yeah, how much good lore is locked behind limited time events? Yeah, everyone does. Yet yeah, Hoyerverse doesn't listen. Because it's a legitimate strategy. It gives everyone the FOMO. Where's this one at? Do you? I hear it. The hell? Why it's all the way up here? this last one be? Oh, this one. Nice. I got them all. Okay, that wasn't as bad. It was also very aesthetically pleasing. I like listening to the, the crystallization of the paintings. I got it all. There's no such thing as I got it all. Your freedom in this world. Find these. Nice. All right. Even the wind cannot. Maybe I should spend some resin. Let me spend like one condensed resin. Wait, should I? Yeah, I should. Just for these talent books. You're a little new to Genshin and you wanted to aim for Raiden soon. You're free to play. Can anyone in chat recommend some good pull arms? The catch is a good one for her. You might have to grind for it. I mean, you will have to grind for it, but the catch is very recommended on her. And it's very recommended. <laughs> It's very rec recommended on most. I'm pretty sure. Most polearm users. I think. I know it's good on Xiangling too, but. Teamwork is dreamwork. One with nature. Let's begin. Have a safe trip. 
time to improvise. Everybody stand back! The wind knows me. A moment, please. I love doing that with them. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying doing that with him. Just wait until I get like an actually really good build for him. Oh my goodness, he's gonna do big damage. My build for him is okay. Okay, well I say that with 215 crit damage, but you know. His crit rate could be a little better, you know? It's only 50%. I need a better uh, attack sands for him. I need a much better attack sands for him. And I want to crown him too. I want to crown his normal attacks. You need a better circlet. I got I got kinda lucky with this circlet. I think it could be better. The circlet could definitely be better. But I mean, you know, having crit rate and a crit damage substat with a couple of them going to crit damage is pretty good still. He gets crits from the artifact, doesn't need that much crit. Oh yeah, you're right. True. That is true. So he is, he is pretty good right now. And if I use, uh, if I use Scaramouche's weapon on him, he becomes even better, but I like to keep it on Scaramouche. He's so fun to play too. Ah, I love this man. I haven't used him in the abyss though. When is it? When does the abyss go away? When does the abyss reset? I think it's like three days, two days rather. I'll do that later. There'll be an extra fee for that. All right, well, <clears throat> anyways, I've done the event. It's time for me to log off because it's getting late. I was supposed to edit a little more today. I'm still editing the videos. Um, I think, uh, well, since the, since the live stream date is kind of pushed back a little bit, I don't know if they're going to push back the... I don't know if they're going to push back the release date for the uh, 4.2 as well, but I we'll see. I considered keeping some pets in my office, but, but soon gave up on the idea. It's just not right to keep small. But I would say that I, I at least have like a little bit more time for me to upload the, the uh, Act 3 and Act 4. I know it's been taking a little while. Update should not be delayed, just the stream. Yeah, it shouldn't, but I mean, I still have like a week. I'm gonna edit these videos, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try and get them out. I'm probably, I really don't want to do it because I hate putting out super, super long videos. I don't think they really do that good in the algorithm, but I'm probably just gonna put act three and act four all into one video and put it out. Cause I would feel bad if I, you know, waited this long and then just like separated it all into different videos. You know, that would, that would feel bad for, personally. So I'm gonna just put act three and act four all into one video. So. It's probably not gonna do well. It's probably gonna flop cause you know, it's way too fucking late, but we'll see. I'm gonna try and get it done. Do not worry. 
<clears throat> but anyways, thank you all for watching. I will be back. I hope you all stay safe. Have a good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I will be back. Um, don't know when. We will see. <laughs>